guys, by the way. I found it, so I'm gonna play. I'm gonna... I just saved. I just saved that for the podcast, to be perfectly honest. Okay, that makes sense. Because I can't hear when you're playing that, so it's not gonna work. Oh, that's fair. Yeah, that is, that is fair. Duh. Yeah. How about if I acapella it, guys? Would you prefer that? No. Or are you sure. <laughs> no. I, am I getting a hard no on that? Am I getting? A, so I am getting a hard no. Yes. Oh, wow. Yeah. These are, these yeah. are pretty. These are pretty hard no. Good to remember, enjoying confections in a moderation can be part of a balanced diet and an active lifestyle. Good to connect. Vesselsweettarts.com. Uh, now, real fast before we get uh. before we get started here, guys. Uh, a couple couple quick notes here. Uh, in a in a bit of a chain reverse of fortune for this thing. What? Uh, Gaijin Goomba and Senile Snake are a little bit under the weather, so everyone just be cautious yeah. of that. And Monty's feeling okay. Yeah. That is, that is <laughs> Great. Weird. That is weird. I'm glad the ritual went through Nadine and you've taken their strength. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's good. That's very good. Uh, and Zito's also here. Hi, Zito. <laughs> All right, and uh, I pretty much do we have any uh, big uh, announcements, Nadine? Anything at all? Do you got got anything you want to talk about? Uh, anything you want you want to talk about your stream? Get people over there watching yours. I do it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Sorry. Uh, um, streaming. Well, I do it. it. I she do it. it. I I've I've been I've been trying to do it a bit more with the holiday. Um, I'm hoping to do art here pretty soon if the mailman would cooperate. No. But no. Um, Unfortunately for you, he is a listener of the Unexpectables and now holds very much a spike grudge against you. Apparently. <laughs> Apparently. Um, I honestly, like, I'm going to plug someone else's stream. Lately, Snake has been doing Jackbox. Yeah. And that's been a blast, to be perfectly honest. Every time I'm like, I'm going to stream, I go onto Twitch and I see that you're streaming Jackbox. And I'm like, I want to I wanna play Jackbox with Snake and friends. It's fun. Right. Yeah, Stream a lot of party fun. games recently. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We we all to get all to get together and do that sometime. Oh, that would that, that would be fun. That would be unfair. You would beat us all, <laughs> Snake. You have your ex. That is true. I am. Ooh, food and I am. I am the second. I'm the second place king. After Food all. And Tiger, thank you for the five thousand <laughs> bits. My God, and Nightshade, thank you for the two thousand bits. Goodness. Uh, we can't actually oh. answer questions right now, uh, S. Nightshade, but uh, Task is a monster hunter if anyone is. Yeah. Yeah. yeah he is. Yes, he is. Very much so. Yeah, it's, it's your archetype, isn't it? No. I, I'm i keeping Hunter. Holy shit. Oh, my God. Uh, Iman Tizzle, thank you for the 1,000 bits. First start, bits I've ever dropped. You guys get a bit cherry. Be honored. Hope guys have seen I'll get better. Oh my, oh my god. Uh, and uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Oh, over 1,500 bits from Seafoam. Uh, Kazoo, my, thank you so much, dude. And Scythe Dragon with 10,000 bits. Hey, Talk, I'm so glad I could finally catch you on a special slide for once. I'm, I've enjoyed listening to your campaign on YouTube since the beginning. I will continue to look forward to all the new episodes. Also, purchased a Sweet Dragon tea, and it's very comfy. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Guy Geneva. What was that? Oh, sorry. Gaijin, you've been playing Okami still, right? Uh, yeah, that's now going to be every Saturday until not only we beat it, but we 100% it, I swear. Oh, oh boy, that. Whew. Good luck with that. <laughs> that's yeah. ambitious. Maybe, maybe, there, maybe isn't, there a point of, isn't there a point of no return in that game? There are a couple. Uh, I mean, when yeah. I when I say, when I say complete, I don't mean like get every treasure chest in game. I mean like do all the all the side quests. And oh, the quests okay. And yeah, because if, 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 if you were gonna get all the collectibles, I'm like, good the fuck luck. Uh -uh. No, I've already I've already screwed that up because I messed up Orochi's home base. Yeah, so. I was gonna say that's the killer right there. Oh, no, no. Colonel. Uh, yeah. <sighs> you should have drew dick butt on your mask. Uh, Colonel Tash, thank yes. you so much for the 500 bits <laughs> as well. Also, Sario88, thank you for the 2,500 bits. Sorry, 2,100 bits. It's because I missed the stream last time. All right, thank you so much, dude, for swinging by. Uh, thank you so much. Oh my god, these bits are I just just too many bits being dropped. There's a lot. There's yeah. a lot of bits being dropped. Rose six. Great. Thank you so much for the one thousand bits. Uh, five hundred from SF Cody. Thank you so much. Cat Lyco, like, oh, three hundred uh, and bits. Thank you so much. Half dead. So. Are you? Are you? Oh. Sorry. Zito, what are you plugging? Uh, my stream start up tomorrow. Uh, Toot Sweet. Uh, it'll be an art stream. Nice. Uh, Friday. I'm gonna start off the new year with never stop sneaking. All right, so yeah. and uh, when Monster Hunter comes out, that will probably just devour most of my playtime. <laughs> but uh, 
Sundays, uh, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but on my uh, Sunday streams, they used to be long plays, but I am far too scatterbrained for shit like that to happen. So what I'm considering is doing one-offs of uh, random D&D campaigns of my universe that I use for TFS at the table. So side stories that don't like correlate with what the guys are doing, but it's in universe. So you can get like little hints here and there of the world. Has what did, what did Lanny think of that? They thought they were they I I brought that past them and they were like no nah, that's fine oh, okay. and a lot of their no a lot, like I like I told them like anything I do in the Sunday streams will only be like in naming reference but will not actually have any effect on what they're doing. Okay. All right. Fine. Sweet. All righty. All right. Well, I'm ready to go. Yeah, uh, I am too. All right, guys. Let's uh, yeah. kick this bad boy up. Nadine, take us away, please, to the land of Alabast. Mm -hmm. When last we left our heroes, Tass the Cobalt Ranger, Borky the Orc Barbarian, Greckles the Kinku Rogue, and Panic the Tiefling Bard, the party ran various errands about the city, welcomed their new wizard hire, Willow, to her tower, and hired two additional guards for their tavern. Narragan, a black dragonborn paladin of Illinae, and Lewistrog, a warrior donned in a helm and cloth armor. After this, the party the, 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 sorry. After this, the party visited the Druidic district so that Panic could procure a means of to cheat at the drinking competition in hopes of beating Adric Metalmane in said competition. After purchasing a phlegm-colored mushroom and a twenty-pound uh oh, geez, I'm sorry. <clears throat> After purchasing a phlegm-colored mushroom and a 20-pound pigeon named Tubbs, the party found themselves led by a white stag and made their way to the crafting district. The party then rediscovered the forgotten Orin cleric Helena, hiding away in the city streets begging for money. After a quick chase and a calm emotion spell, the party collected Helena and took her back to the tavern. Alerting the authorities, Greckles and Task found Doros and his men, while Borky and Panic tended to Helena, feeding her and giving her somewhere warm to go. After some conversing, Doros's guard decided to take in Helena due to the effective puppy dog look of Doros, Task, Tarisk, Borky, and Tubbs. Now the party rests and awakens to a new dawn and a new day. At the point at which you guys make it home, uh, it's safe to say that you're exhausted. Yep. It's worthy of sleep. Yep, bedtime is now. Yes, it is. Yeah, you guys, you guys sleep, and it rains the whole night through. Um, but it's cozy inside. It's very, very warm. Uh, building's well made. Yep. Sweet. And as you guys, you guys sleep in a little bit just because of how rainy it's been. It's cold in the morning. You can feel a, a coldness in the air. Yeah. Borky's cuddling with Tubbs, by the way, in bed. <laughs> Tubbs just, is like half lolling off the bed. There's like bird shit everywhere. <laughs> yeah. We have maids for that. Do we? No, we don't. Shit. No, you no, don't. No, we don't. Damn it. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I mean, if you want to make Meryl clean it up. No, oh, that's just mean. She's te she's technically a maid. That's just mean, though, at that point, you know? Yeah. Give, well. give you a thousand gold to go tell Helga to do it. <laughs> it's not enough money in the world. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you guys are up. Yep. yep. Just How... throw, throws your bed through the wall. There, is clean. <laughs> <laughs> how long, how many days until the festival? Because that seems to be the next big catalyst. Five days, it, uh, five days in a week. Oh, so 13 days. Yeah. So the only things we had on the docket, well, at least I wanted to, is hit up this opera house with, uh, with Borky. Yeah. Uh, I want to go to the coastline to seek out the, the hunting group and also go to, uh, oh God, uh, go to the archery, uh, the archery job posting. Mm. That's just me, though. I'm guessing we're we're all waking up. We're all waking up. We're all, we're all, yeah. Okay, because I got to do a thing. Go ahead. <laughs> this is preparation. Okay, do your thing, Kurt. It's time to get okay. It's time to get bulky. Rar. He roars very loudly, the top of his lungs. Thank you. Very nice. Saw that merch. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, <laughs> mm -hmm. And Borky goes downstairs. An audio. Borky goes downstairs. An audio book. He roars very loudly. He roars loudly. <laughs> Not so much that it annoys right. the audio engineer and the DM. <laughs> uh, you head downstairs, Borky. Uh, the rest of you, I assume, follow as well. Yeah. Yep. Uh, as you guys yeah. make your way downstairs, you see Willow currently uh, eating breakfast at, at one of the tables along with Scarbles 
And Meryl is actually in early and she's currently cleaning. Uh, Narragan is walking out of the kitchen with a plate of food. Um, and you don't see Lewis Strong anywhere. Quick question. Mm -hmm. um, in terms of like month, what month are we in? In terms of month, there is no real month system. Uh, in okay. terms of season, you're in fall at this point. Okay. The month of fall. You're in early, early fall, kind of leading into winter. Okay. I'd say if there was a month, you guys would be like late October, maybe mid to late October. I mean, I would, I would assume that this this world at least has a solstice. Yeah, I would. Oh. Okay. You have a Harvest Moon, which is the Harvest Festival. So, right, right. which copy of Harvest yeah. Moon do we have for the GameCube? Or for the uh, yes. no, not is it for, for the, the sixty four? We have we have uh, Friends of Mineral Town on the Game Boy Advance. Mm. Oh, for oh. fuck's sake! Oh, oh, why even play video games? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, it's because that's the most recent one I've played. I'm going back so. to Starbound. <laughs> <laughs> you mean Stardew Valley? Star Whatever. Star <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, no, everyone's eating. Uh, it looks like they're eating at what looks like kind of like a crock bowl almost. Um, you smell cheese and potatoes and eggs. And uh, currently, Willow appears to be conversing with Helga, and uh, Scarbles is just like like a piranha is just like nah, 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 like eating, <laughs> and Eric is very very like nobly eating his food. Would you say he's very carefully cutting it with a fork and knife? Like yes, with, like eggs. He's now, like are, like with fork. Are and his knife. elbows touching the table? Because that's that it, or are they off the table? No, nope. well, that is very they that is very proper. Table. That is very mm -hmm. proper. Uh, Greg, was you had a question? Sorry. I honestly can't remember. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm not feeling good. I'm a little it's scatterbrained okay. tonight. Bird brained. I didn't. Oh, wait. No, I do remember. I didn't know if you guys want to try and get more work with the town guard to try and clean up our names a little bit. Hmm. I have another suggestion, too, because I like that. We have lots of stuff we could do. But how about this? Now, I'm pretty sure. One day away, there's a little uh, goblin king called Phantom Limb Stover. You mean that's that's, actually, that's, that, that's a queen, Borky. Well, yeah. Technically, it's a mistress. But... Oh, I thought it was just a general leader. Mm. Uh, mm. That's, it's, it's a queen, buddy. I see. I mean, she could have given herself Jane! the title. Oh, my God. Oh. oh, hi, how's it going? Oh. And she, like, cleans her face off with a napkin. <sighs> I thought you were bread. A what? I thought you were bread. Wow. Is he feeling okay? I don't know uh, if this is an no, orc thing or I what. Just... Sure. Th okay. Scarbles, Scarb this is a borky thing. Ah, gotcha. She winks. What kind of bread has a mohawk? <laughs> Good Most bread. Little bread. <laughs> yeah. Rest braid. And she walks up. She walks away. But yeah, fan, <laughs> but yeah, but yeah, Phantom Limb Stover has another one of those little, oh, you know, bird things. Because I've noticed something. Do you hear me if this is true? We found so far, like, four bird-related artifacts. Oh, he's got gripples. We've got the one that screeches that panicates. We panic. Do you have that? Well, out of character, who has the, the, the one that screeches? I, I, I actually have the seagull. The one that Greco's has, shifty eyes, and the one that <laughs> Tysk has, which is the seeing eye bird, right? Right. Uh, the hummingbird. The hum yeah. hummingbird. And we also have Tubbs, who's a rarest of all artifacts. Borky sets Tubbs down mm. on the table. <laughs> oh. <laughs> While rare, I'm sure. Um, he just like rolls, like yeah. he slides like like butter in like a water balloon. He just like starts lolling over the side it, of the table. It's like when you underhand a water balloon and it rolls across the floor instead of breaking. Yeah, it's pretty disgusting. <laughs> you know, I've really liked something to do. Is that good gods? What? What was it? Good gods. That's horrifying. But here's the thing: Panic doesn't have a bird thing yet, and he needs one. You know. Do yeah, I mean, like, yeah. I mean, does he? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I can give him mine. I don't care. Oh, don't do that. I I don't really need... <laughs> oh, come really on, guys, care. <laughs> <laughs> although, <laughs> although, uh, I was, oh, I was going to agree. Yes, we should actually 
look into Sturva. For what reason? Well, exactly. It's interesting. It I'm, I'm, my intrigue is perked. It would also be interesting to go into the depths of the Underdark and fight an army of drow, but it's not exactly a good idea. I mean, like, drows are pretty. Pretty terrifying. I don't know. You could be pretty without the town. Task. Task. You would be an expert on this. Are drow pretty? I... I what? Concept of... <laughs> concept of another race pretty? What? Just... You see Task give, like, the fucking... The clone high hands, like... Mm. Holding both his hands up. This is what happens when we don't have direction, guys. <laughs> it's true. Well, no, I have to. I have direction. You guys want to go? You, th these two want to go uh, fuck off and meet a bugbear, and that's cool. That's a cool idea. But then I also sit here and wonder: we're on a time schedule for a couple of other things, and who knows if going to see a bugbear is gonna, you know, overlap us coming back in time for this opera house thing that you want to go yeah, to. That's fair. I just wanted to make sure make we should probably check that out at some time. When is that exactly? Just out of Three days. Uh, three days. For the opening show. How far away was the... was... Sturva from us? It was it like a day or two? Yeah, more or less. Oh. Yeah. She's, she's past where Anj was. Mm. between the village where Anna lives and Tibbelheim. Okay. Well, it depends on what we want to do then. Do we want to actually spend the day going out, or do we want to spend the 24 hours coming and going, or do we want to stay inside the town? It's a matter of, because, like, in the end, like, we can go, that, that, I don't really want to go that direction. I just want to, I wanted to have it made mention, because it's something that Borky would like to do at some point, but I think, like, going to get the bear meat would be pretty good. Well, is that along the way? That one is north east along the shoreline which was i believe it was either between a six to eight hour walk there and uh nadine you said that it, it, while the the opera starts at that point it's not a one night only thing it's a multiple night. no god that would that would be a waste of money it runs for multiple nights yeah. so uh i honestly out of character i'd be down to go get the bear meat it seems like it would be enough time yeah i think we i think we should have enough time for that um any uh uh opposition i guess I mean, there's no opposition from me. I just we're we're gonna go get the bear meat, but then we have to go meet up with those uh, hunters to see where we can find some. Yeah. So we'd have to. You said it was a a day a day's journey, Nadine. Yeah, about six to eight hours walk okay. there. Hmm. I got nothing better to do today. Oh, well, you want to go? Are you guys are you guys actually in the mood to go hunting? It'd be a nice change of pace, yeah. sure. I think I would be. Hey, Mr. Poppy Chain. Oh, Barky! And he walks out. He's got four trays on his tiny little halfling, yet swole shoulders. And he comes over and he <laughs> sets them out in front of each of you. They're like little kind of like thick porcelain bowls. And it's kind of got like a, a farmer skillet style meal inside. There's sausage and, mm. and potatoes and egg mixed oh, in, yeah. along with peppers and, and everything you could think of, and bacon and, and the works. Oh, this looks really good. We should and there's melted well, Thanks, Nadine. I am now hungry, and it's 9 o'clock at night. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. Welcome to this. You know, I try, okay? I do it because I love you guys. So, you know what? It's there was not a my pause. Fault. There was a pause in the middle of saying you love us. I distinctly heard it in the name. <laughs> yeah, it, it was like, it was like, am I going to say this? I have to judge this very quickly. <laughs> oh, no, I'm sorry. Food is part of the world. Uh, Ty. Oh, yes. Oh, my gosh. Uh, you're talking to me. It's so refreshing. Yes. <laughs> Uh, I was wondering, um, have you ever have you ever seen one of these? And he and uh, Panic pulls out the mushroom, the mysterious brown mushroom. Um, let me roll for Ty. Knowledge nature check for Ty. That is a mushroom. <laughs> yes, it is. At least I hope so. <laughs> I don't know what type of mushroom it is, but it looks disgusting. It is. Well. Uh, thanks for trying. I, I figured, uh... Maybe the boys over at the hunting lodge might be able to figure that out for you. Mm. That's actually not a bad idea. Mr. Mr. Maybe. Mr. Boppington. Yes! Here's the thing, Mr. Boppington. We have decided, mm -hmm. as a collective group, 
we're gonna go get you that bear meat. Oh, that's good because the sooner I get that, the the longer I can marinate it because bear meat is rather tough to cook. How would you? Oh, that's is, is that true? Actually, out of character? Is, is, uh, yeah, it is. Yes, yeah. yeah. oh, yeah. it's, it's oh, super. Is the more you learn. I did my research. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm wrong to have questioned you, Nadine. Well, Mr. Bobby, we're gonna go get that bear meat. Borky punches. Well, I will, I will go out and I will get the ingredients for a delicious bear sirloin. I think that will work very well for what you'd like and also make it edible. I would, <laughs> is there anything? Is there anything else you actually want us to go hunt while we're out? Oh, I, I don't know. I mean, I have plenty of meat, uh, vegetables. <laughs> you can't really hunt a potato, um, maybe. Um, but I honestly think I'm doing pretty good. It's just if there's any specialty you want done, but, um, I'd be very careful right now, though, Tass, because the druids are cutting off hunting in most areas, so, you know, I'd hate to see you go to jail again. We'll keep that in mind. Christ. We're not, we're not, <laughs> we're not here to destroy the ecosystem. We're here to just find one prize. Oh, good. Okay, well, yes, if you get the bear, that'd be great, and if you're willing to hand that over to me, I'm happy to make you something. After all, you're my favorite kobold. You're the only kobold I know. I should really get out more and meet people. Well, maybe we'll get that opportunity during the festival. Oh, no, I... I <laughs> gills to the grindstone. I, I have to win that cooking competition. <laughs> I mean, I mean don't, isn't your competition going to be like, you know, couldn't you discuss or converse with them afterwards? His eyes narrow, and you feel his intensity. No, they're my opponents. Ooh. Oh, that's crazy. Task nods sagely at that. Mr. Bobby, you, you, you yes. have a scary look on your face. Oh, well, you know, cooking competitions are rather, and he lifts up and I like, cut throat. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I gotta go and keep cooking. You guys have fun, and, and when you get the meat, just bring it right to me, okay? okay. Bye. Okay. Let's do it, then. Waddles on off. Uh, Willow, as, as Tybe Orbiting uh, waddles off, Willow actually walks up to you and goes, ah, Good morning. Hello. Hello, good morning. Willow. How do you find your lodgings? Hello. Oh, it's so comfortable, and, and no screaming outside, or guys yelling about how they got stabbed. It's really, really nice. Um, oh, I, I actually made my first batch uh, uh, last night. Um, I, I got to use my distillery and figure it out. So, and she puts four potions on the table. Um, a potion of Cure Minor Wounds, they're just test ones. Um, but I figured, hey, I heard you're going out, so it'd be good to be safe. Thank um, you. But yeah, um, I'm gonna be working actually with the Giant's Tooth, uh, first thing, it has me very fascinated. Um, and uh, 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 Mr. Borky, hey. um, I, I put your hag head into, uh, well, essentially a bug box, mm -hmm. and it, it's doing good. Uh, the hairs are rather coarse, so it might take a bit of time. Uh, no uh, but it's, it's going good, and it's also terrible. Um, I may have to go out and get some uh, additional things just to ensure that the, the ghost of the hag doesn't do whoa, complicated whoa, 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 magic whoa. Are things. Are you telling me there is a situation in which we could be haunted? Uh, yes, um, fake creatures are rather tricky, oh. and it's best to be assured that they are um, unable to come back and seek vengeance and that sort of thing. Borky looks fast to the kitchen. Must protect the fish. Uh, <laughs> um, also, um, I looked at that tooth from the frog. Um, I, I went through some books. I did some research. Um, I found something called a bander hob, and I think that's what that's from. So um, I don't really know what I could use it for since it's a creature kind of, um, I haven't read the whole thing, but I I'll look into it though. Whatever you can experiment with will probably be fine. Okay, yeah, absolutely. I'll, I'll do my best. Also, it's, it's lovely here. I'm having a great time. The food is excellent. Is. Oh, Willow, how is that uh, sleeping potion coming along? Oh, I haven't had a chance to look at that yet. I, I want to get rid of the evil hag ghost yeah, first. Uh, I don't I blame would, you. I would say the hag ghost is like top priority. Otherwise, we'll have to do a spiritual mm. suplex this time. Yeah, well, that's kind of impossible because you, you're, you know, physical. And mm. um, anyway, I, I'm going to head out. <laughs> <laughs> is she I, saying I... she could do it? <laughs> I mean, you don't know. Willow. Willow. Uh, yes. Hi, Mr. Panic. Uh, about nice thing. Um. Mm -hmm. Uh, do you know what this is? And he pulls out the mysterious brown mushroom. All right, she's gonna roll a knowledge arcana and a knowledge nature. <laughs> that is a mushroom. <laughs> so it is. She rolled a natural one on her arcana trick. It is a normal mushroom. It looks like. 
Um, be careful. It might be poisonous, maybe. Cool. He puts it back in his pocket. <laughs> well, that sure is a I mushroom. Spent 200, I spent 200 gold on this. <laughs> oh, is, is, is something wrong? Do you, do you have oh, gold? Or? No, I'm just uh, looking for a use for it. Oh, oh okay. well, I could take a look at it if you want to give it to me. It might take me some time, but... Sure, uh, just don't taste it or smell it or lick it at all. Oh, well, how am I supposed to make a potion out of it if, if I can't do any of that? Oh, okay, it's up to you. <laughs> he, okay. Uh, he's going he's gonna to hand her the mushroom then. Okay, that'll take me about, um, honestly, head goes first, and then uh, giant potion next, and then uh, she points to you, Greckles, other mushroom that I understand, and then other mushroom I don't understand. Um, that'll be about maybe four weeks or so. Four weeks? Ooh, Lordy Lou. I'll tell you what. Is there any way I could do a rush order on that? I need it by the festival. Oh. Why? Here we go. Well. <laughs> yeah, let's go. <laughs> Borky picks up his train, just goes, woo, and walks away. <laughs> <laughs> woo. Willow watches as Borky leaves and then turns back to you, panic, look, kind of tilting her head to one side. You see, um... The mushroom, mm -hmm. I have heard. Uh, what the druid told me was that it will help fend off hangovers, and I plan on drinking oh. a lot at the festival. Yes. Oh, okay. Roll a deception check. <laughs> let's go, buddy. Let's go, buddy. Here we go. First. I mean, I'm not technically lying. No, well, I'm not, well, you are not, kind not of. Tech All right. Well. Uh, 26. There's no way. She's, yeah, no, there's no way. She has disadvantage on insight with you. <laughs> she does? Oh. This, this mushroom cures hangovers. She's pretty dense. She's not very attentive. Um... <laughs> See, this mushroom cures hangovers. <laughs> <laughs> um, Will, Will kind of goes, oh, of course. Uh, that's so silly. Of course you'd be drinking at the festival. There's be all kinds of stuff. I'm really jealous. Um, well, if the druid says it's what it does, then you're best off just taking it in its most like natural form. Um, if I were to tamper with it, then the effects might change, and that could be quite mm. dangerous for you. Mm. Mm -hmm. The thing is, it tastes awful. Well, it, it, but it works. Fuck, please. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I, I I don't really know. This is kind of outside my expertise, unless I had no, a lot no, of time to look at it. No, uh, I mean, if you if you want to. Take a look at it for me. Uh, that that's fine. Again, it, uh, by the festival. Um, I actually, I actually have some druid friends. I c I could maybe talk to them. Um, I mean, I might as well. I, I have lots of extra time. Uh, Doros and I canceled all our dates, so you know, <laughs> oh. gotta find something to do. For what purpose? Oh, uh, his boss or whoever, um, uh, Brock Bronzefang. I I don't know. He's like a captain of the guard. I don't know. He's taking time off. So, you know, Doros has to do his workload and his workload. And oh, it's so sad. We were going to see the opera and, and oh, it's just what it is. I understand. And work comes first. It's fine. We'll, we'll see each other afterwards. But... Greckles under his breath. Well, that's just another thing to strike against him. But um, yeah, no, I, I could go do that. I, I have a day where I don't have anything going on. So I can, I can run over to the Druidic District. I love going there. They have rabbits. They're very would... cute. I would appreciate that. Thank you, Willow. Absolutely. Okay. Oh, uh, by the way, Willow, did you see this thing? Points over to Tubbs. Oh my God! What the hell is that? <laughs> we found that. At, we we found that at the Druid District as well. Borky took a liking to it. Um, it's very. It like coughs and gurgles. <laughs> oh, it's very. Yeah. <laughs> um. Oh, well, that's really awful. Um. Uh. <laughs> I, she leans over to you, Pat, and goes, what is with Mr. Borky and weird, creepy bird-related things? I don't fucking know. Okay. <laughs> and she, like, leans back. Oh, it's very cute. Um, I should go. I, I have a lot of stuff to do. Um, I hope the potions work out great for you guys. And, and have a good trip wherever Thank you're you. going. Oh, and bundle up. It's raining outside. Um, Task, okay. Tass taps Tarisk on the top of the head. Let's go. You need to lose the weight. Borky, go, Borky comes back into the room with Tubbs. All right, we should Tubbs. 
I'm gonna leave you in my room with a whole thing. Borky puts Tubbs on his bed with a whole loaf of bread. Oh my god, that don't sounds, help him. That sounds like an awful idea. Oh. Okay, so all it <laughs> takes is Borky to blink and the bread should be gone. <laughs> We'll find out. Right. Through <laughs> osmosis, it doesn't even open its mouth. Is there like a little basket that I can find around, like in? in a, uh, like, you can. There's a crate. You, yeah, you grab like a like a crate. Borky picks and, a crate uh, and puts it right on the end of the bar, and Borky uh, puts <laughs> tubs in it. And Borky puts tubs there with a bunch of bread. All right, we'll be back soon. Love you, tubs. I I'm hope I, I kind of am hoping as soon as we leave the door, the floorboard that is holding that table up crashes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that'll happen. I mean, the pigeon's only 20 pounds. Yeah, he's oh, not by the, that heavy, we're, we're, but... by the way, um, if we're trying to write letters, do we, we don't have, no, we don't have a hatcher or anything like that to send off letters, nope. do we? You have, to, you have to get something for that. How long would that take? To get that or to deliver yeah. a letter. Well, type, the le type the letter to me and I'll give you the charge is the best way to go about it. And we'll assume okay. you took it to a, an appropriate postage area. All right. Well, we're heading out now. I'll just do it later. It's fine. All right. Um, you see you guys gather your things and decide to head well, out. You said yep, you had yep. four potions. What were the potions? They are potions of two minor wounds. So it's it's uh, 1d4 plus 4. Oh, okay. Uh, do, do, we, uh, do we split yeah. these up equally between each other? Yeah, you got four of them, so it's yeah, assumed yeah. that each of you guys right. get one. Willow, Willow just basically tested out her her stuff, and she passed her roll. So good. Is that is that higher than cure minor wounds? Uh, no, it's the same. Oh, okay. So then I I actually have four lesser minor. I I have four minor wound potions. Wow, you nice. do wow. Better than none. <laughs> yeah, I've been, I've been stockpiling on them. I haven't taken hits most of the game. It's okay, Borky will steal those at some point uh, when he makes a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, you guys set out the door. As you do, you see Negger, uh, um, Narragan. He uh, turns and he, he says good night to Meryl. And Meryl's like, oh, oh good night. And Narragan goes into essentially a side room where he goes into a bedroom and closes the door since the shift's over. Oh, shoot. Um, as you guys step outside the tavern, uh, assumedly, um, you guys see Vel currently resting both of her hands on top of her uh, her warhammer. And you also see uh, Louis Strog just standing completely at attention, war pick in one hand at the other side of the door. How's it going, Louis Strog? How's the first day of work? Good. It's raining a lot. Does that bother you? No. So. Did you see anything last night, or...? The cats like to fight outside, the ones that belong to your bartender. Oh, yes. Yeah, it was pretty awful, but they're okay. Other than that, a few drunk people walking home. Did they happen to be three dwarves? Yeah. <laughs> Borky <laughs> scoffs and rolls his eyes. <laughs> One I'm, tried to pick I'm, a fight with me, and the other one told him that I'm just a statue, which was fine. I wouldn't have done anything unless they tried to make their way inside of your tavern, so. Good man. Mm. Uh, we're going hot, and uh, do you want anything while we're out? No. Okay. Keep vigil. <laughs> Let's go. Val, Val, like, shows up, what the hell about, what about uh, Val, me? I was, like, I was, I was, it, was, it was asked of the whole area, Val. Oh, okay then. <laughs> you could yeah, have spoken like, up, but you didn't. Yeah, you, you kind of just like sat there and like let us talk to the new guy. You could oh, speak it's, up. It's rude to interrupt. I don't want to interrupt anything. Why did you want something while we were out? Nah, I'm good, <laughs> but at the same time, I mean, I work too. Yeah, you Val, do. Val, okay, Val. Val, what? how was your day? It's going good so far. Um, bit of traffic in and out this morning. How much traffic? Meryl had some friends come over, which was kind of cute. We don't serve alcohol until a certain point, so it's fine. Hmm. Well, it's been great, but we're going to go. Well, no, hold, 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 hold on. What kind of, like, but apart from apart from her little friends coming by, any uh, any folks passing by say anything, you know, strange or odd? Um... The, uh, oh, this, yeah, there was a weird guy. Uh, actually, first thing this morning, uh, snake guy, creepy blue. What? 
Was he? Oh, oh yeah. Oh. What, well, what did he? What did he have to say? I don't know something about a mark been lifted or something. Oh, that's good news. And that he'll be back soon. That's pretty foreboding. I threatened to punch him for that one, and then he okay, ran out listen, screaming. Li okay, listen. If he shows up again, or if you happen to find him in the shed out back, pay it no mind. Actually, uh, Panic's going to go to the shed out back. All right. All right. Uh, Borky just sees him. You go around the side into the courtyard? Yeah. Borky follows him. Okay. Yeah, Greg goes to follow very well, Louis. Uh, Louis Strog, same goes for you. You see a Yanti uh, slink his way into the back, and he's light. He's a uh, bluish color. Pay him no mind. He's an ally of ours. Very well. All right, go in the back. All right, you go in the back. No one's in the shed. It's empty. Uh, is there no more notes? I'm guessing no more notes. No, it's no, the same but... as when you left it. Right, I guess you'll be mm. back at a later time. I go back into the. I, I go back into the bar. I take one of the couch cushions, uh, one of the chair cushions that Adric gave me, and I set it inside of the shack. <laughs> That's good. Don't okay. You, don't you need that? Nah. What about your sensitive tush? Buddy tush? made it for you. <laughs> All right, you set it out. All it's right. kind of heavy, but it is definitely like comfortable. A heavy pillow. Yeah, it's like a like filled dude. It's like like massive. Oh my god. Are we about ready to get the show on the road, gentlemen? Yeah, we I say uh, we are. Let's show. get going. Okay. I could you guys... have said something lewd, but I choose not to. <laughs> <laughs> you guys set out the front door and make your way out towards the essentially the beach to the uh to the northeast to give you a sense of of sort of a sense of place i'm going to draw this out to explain Ooh, it really okay. quick i don't do maps but i will explain oh, this okay. you should not pass this is alavas so, here this, this it's on fire black it's not on fire that's the towers so i'm trying to be <laughs> abstract here <laughs> so Alavast lives in a giant bay channel, essentially, uh, okay. which goes out into the ocean. Uh, it leads into the mainland. So technically, you can go every single direction yeah. from Alavast, and then to the east is this very narrow bay channel of water, okay. which, as you guys remember in your trip coming in, is very long. And then it just ends where Alabast is. Alrighty. Mostly because there's a uh, an incline. So does that make sense? Yes. Yes. Okay. Now you guys have a mental map. All right. Cool. So you guys make your way. I'm assuming to the uh, docks district. How do you want to get to the beach? You want to go through the docks district? Do you want to go out and around? Uh. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> that was a scary duck noise. That was yeah. that. That actually was. I did not mean to do that. That was just me going, huh? But all right. Uh... It's so close to being ready to be used at any given moment. Like it's a weapon ready to be employed. <laughs> <laughs> um, the duck. The duck is Tiengo roll initiative. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> so, um, do you guys think we could save time by just taking a ferry, or do we want to take the long route? Because I mean, we are going on a hunt. Oh, I honestly don't mind the long route. I mean, you said that Taurus needs, needs to lose some weight. Isn't that right, Taurus? Yes, it is. Borky grabs Taurus' face and just shakes it back and forth like a good Drago. <laughs> 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 All right. If you don't mind the long walk, I say we do that. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> I'm actually going to go ahead and, and jump in stealth if there's stealth to be jumped. There is sand and nothing else, my friend. So unless oh. you can dig, you're out of luck. Dive into the sand. Well, how far? How? Yeah, I was about to say, well, how far away from the water? Uh, this is ocean waves. Uh, so if you're in the water, you would at least be like thirty to forty feet away from your party. Okay. In right. open waters. So I will say that's probably not the safest place to be. <laughs> All right. Task is um, pretty. Uh, pretty. Uh, like, is eyeing the ocean. He's never actually seen it this close before. It lulls onto the shore, reaching out with foam and breathes back in, almost like with a breath each time, rushing in and rushing out. I wish I had sound effects. I should have gotten that. That's fine. 
Um, and as it reaches in and out, you see different creatures. You see shells, you see mussels and clams. You see uh, seagulls fly and land and, and grab things from the water. Wow. You see a few commoners kind of fishing out in the water, um, doing their thing. You see you hear the bells of ships in the distance as you see the various different vessels in the docks as you walk on the beach. Is there any pretty, like, I don't know, like fist-sized shells on the beach I could pick up? Uh, let me roll for that. And we'll see. Yes, there is a somewhat reasonably sized conch shell, actually. It's a bit cracked, but it's definitely pretty. Drawn to this task, we'll pick it up. Okay, you pick it up, and as you do, boop, boop, two eyes poke out, and you see a hermit crab. Task immediately just, like, gently puts it back on the ground, like, oh, fuck! <laughs> it scuttles away. And as it does, other shells on the beach boop, 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 scuttle along with it. The fuck? Did we just have a Miyazaki moment? You kind of did. Task doesn't know what the fuck the beach is or what crabs are, so this is all new Would to we him. we roll arcane or knowledge nature to know what Miyazaki moments are? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> is there an empty one? Uh, roll an investigation check. Alrighty. Fun fact, I had two hermit crabs growing up. I had, a, I had a shitload of hermit crabs when I was a kid. They get big, too. Oh, yeah, they do. Uh, investigation. Yeah. And... Day 13. You find one. Radical. Task will check it... to make sure there's nothing inside of it. You're good. It's clear. There's some sand. You could you just wash it out in the water as it comes in and laps over your feet. You can just wash oh. it out. It's a smaller shell, but it's pink and like kind of a, a nice brown color. It's very pretty. Task will pocket it. Okay. If you hold it up to your ear, you can hear the ocean. Tass like looks at panic, like, "Are you fucking deaf, man?" No, he's he's actually right. Give it a well, shot. While you stand here, you can hear the ocean. Orc just looks at the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> you see the ocean. Yeah, we, we'll, we'll continue walking as we're doing this. Tass does so, though. though. Uh, and you hear but, but... the ocean. Just like wide-eyed for like a split second, like, "Holy shit, he's right." And then pockets it back in. Yeah, cool. <laughs> hmm. Strange. <laughs> but you you can, like, like, Tash just, like, plays it off cool, but you can see he's just like, holy shit, this is rad. <laughs> <laughs> you guys walk and walk and walk, the sand crushing beneath your, your feet. There's moments where you have to kind of leap over, like, a log that's been washed up on shore. Um, you see a lot of birds. You see a few uh, seals sunbathing. Uh, as you guys walk past, they quickly dash into the water. Um, and soon the clouds actually part and the rain finally lets up. Um, and as it does, uh, I want everybody to roll a perception check. Ooh. Okay. Oh boy. Oh, I didn't get my... perception. That's a big 12. That's a big 12. So didn't pull up on my sheet. Sorry, I'm being a bad player. One second there. How dare? How dare? I'm fucking. I apologize though. Taka, I swear to. Ah. <laughs> Panic pressed the digitations his coat so it becomes dry. <laughs> Very good. Six. Uh, perception. Thirteen. Task is you're walking, mesmerized by the sound of the ocean in your ear a while ago. You see a glint up ahead in the sand, something shiny. Task like kind of like holds his arm out, like, to at least, like, try to halt them, and then points over in the direction. Oh. Something's gleaming over there. It's probably... I don't know. Mm. Clam, maybe? Can, uh, Bork, can Borky try and see by making a binoculars with his, uh, with his hands? Uh, yes, you rolled the six, so nothing oh, happens. That's, what make, that's why, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Oyster, well, I, rather? I don't... Is... is that a thing? I don't know much about the ocean. Well, Task, sometimes one could find things like buried treasure, but it also could be a highly reflective shell, a bit of glass, it could be anything. Borky uh, walks forward. Well, we're on a hunt. Uh, Task like, looks to Borky and just shrugs like, we are on a hunt, we may as well investigate. Borky still has his hands like goggle, like like binoculars, walks closer and closer to it. He's, wa he's walking into the ocean while doing so. <laughs> <laughs> Man, it got real cold over. It's a bit, it's a bit wet. 
<laughs> no wait, no 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 is this is this this is in this glint is supposedly in the ocean or no it's in the beach, beach up That's ahead the... okay towards your destination yeah, so Bor borky walks up to the glint okay as you do you see a tiny crab holding a knife oh my god borky pulls out his weapon <laughs> crab battle borky pulls out his weapon oh my god <laughs> guys this, okay. this crab wishes the battle well, well panic, wait, just... panic are these things sentient mm, not that i know of i mean crabs pick up weird shit all the time but uh how did a how did a knife get i'm i'm gonna examine the knife that he that the crab's got it looks like it's meant for cracking open um like shelf like shelf oh my god oh shit it wants but revenge it's... <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna crack us open it's it's very ornate. It's actually very beautiful, but it looks very sharp as well. Okay, now what is the? I mage handed away from him. <laughs> the crab doesn't let go. <laughs> you lift up the knife and the crab, and it's just dangling there, staring what, at you angrily, can, as much as a crab. What can. tends to be the demeanor of this crab? Anger, oh, rage. Oh no! <laughs> I, I I I. I, I lean slightly forward, not within not within clawing or 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 Snipping cracking distance. open distance, uh, and I just I just give the crab a look like you want to fucking go, motherfucker. Roll intimidation. <laughs> why? Why are we doing this? Twenty eight. Okay. So now is it like a coconut crab or a fiddler crab where it's one claw is massive and the other one's tiny? No, the claws are the same size. It rolled oh, okay. Eight. I gotta grab its stats here real quick. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Can, can we, can we, can we weaken, can, it's got a stat line. Can we, can we, can we weaken does. it while I capture it? <laughs> uh oh there it is. Okay. Shit the crab Siango, guys. <laughs> uh okay it rolled an 18 because there's a negative one modifier uh it is scared of you but it, it's it's fear begins he begins to sniff wildly at you like starts swinging holding aloft the knife as you're holding it and also trying to lean up and cut okay, you borky would like to look around <laughs> to see if, if if using this anti-crab weapon that this crab has killed some of its brethren do we see any other crab bodies roll investigation yeah i'll oh do that God. too because this is getting weird. God, if, if this crab has sentience, I swear Six. to fuck. Where is my investigation? Oh Did god. You roll an Are we going to the... on the crab? Oh, I, I meant one. to do investigate. <laughs> Natural one. You rolled a zero. I, rolled a... I meant to do <laughs> I meant to do investigation. Man. 20 again. <laughs> okay, there we go. Uh Borky, if this crab is killed, he's buried the bodies, the mad Borky man. Borky starts digging into the sand. Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh you incite the crab the crab is angry well no he was no, no, trying to like... investigation oh yeah, investigation. investigation which you uh, also rolled 20 you don't know what this crab has been up to with this knife uh it is a very nice knife and looking at it it's not from the ocean so hmm uh, uh, uh oh, oh uh maybe we should put it down and leave it alone last time we handled a semi-sentient wild animal uh Bad things almost happened. Panic, you actually had to bail us out of that. Borky, uh... I want this knife, though. Borky pops his head out from the hole he's been digging. Maybe we should leave it alone and see where it goes. I'm going to try to... Uh, I'm... Mm, do I want to do this? Hang on. Do you want to, like, shake the crab off? Yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna use my mage hand to just kind of wiggle it away. All right, I want you to do opposing... I was... uh, uh, what's what's your spell modifier? It's charisma, right? Uh, yeah, my spell roll, my spell modifier. Roll a charisma is... check. I'll roll a strength check for the crab. Oh my uh, god! Can I? 16. I, I was gonna ask: Is is it possible that I could like assist by like trying to like pry open its one claw with a knife, like just like to to try and like just turn the knife so its claw jars open, like like uh sideways with the knife so the claw goes wide. It's holding it by the handle. Oh shit! Yeah, no, yeah, it's actually got it by the handle. I, I so. love, I love the fact that it's the rogue that's not trying to steal the knife from the crab. <laughs> um, you begin to shake the crab, and it like violently whips up and down and like side to side, and its legs <laughs> dangle and like kick and spin. Just it's let it go, man. On. It's Just holding on. It's holding on. Are you saying that to the crab, or you're gonna yeah. let it go? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm saying that to the crab. <laughs> The crab does not let go. It rolled a natural turn. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> Guys, this crab is badass. 
our greatest enemy yet, the then, crab. Then let's just leave it alone. It obviously wants that. Honestly, gonna, do we need that? Do I'm we really look, need that? Well, you say that. I'm going to look around and see if there's anything else that is out of place. Okay. Uh, you look around. Uh, you actually do see one other thing. Uh, you see, it looks like just sea junk. It looks like a net. That's about it. Oh, a net? Is yeah. It, like, is it manageable? No, it's got tons of holes. It's a fishing net, and it's, like, very, like, wide. Well, let's pull it off. I want yeah, to see let me, well, okay. let me mage hand it off. All right, fair enough. Guys, if he's buried, the you... boys are too deep. Borky, just just keep looking, okay. buddy. <laughs> okay. I, I mage hand the net off. All right, you, you All right. pull it from the sand, and it's gnarled and knotted, and it looks completely broken. There is some chain on one end of it, though. Um, you might be able to mend it, but it would definitely take material and tools and time. Well, I wanted to see if there was anything underneath the net. Uh, you see a few fish skeletons, that's it. Oh. Looks like the seagulls had a field day. Hmm. Where does the net lead to? Like, before... uh, It's like half in the water. It looks like it, it came in from, from the water. Huh. Mm. I... I'm I'm far too short to be doing this, and it might be a stupid idea, but I kind of actually want to let the wave come in, dive my head down, and see if there was anything on the bottom of the of the seabed. Actually, let me tuck my hood up, and I'll just look in because I can. Do it. I okay. You flip the manta ray cloak up. You swan dive into the water, um, and you find the end of it. Uh, it's just more net and more chain. It looks like it was supposed to be rigged on to something. This probably came off of the ship at some point. It's garbage. Mm. Nothing of value. Bad no. news, Tess. It's just a net. That's unfortunate. Oh, well. It is a net. You've been looking for those, haven't you? I have, but re-amending this thing might take a lot more effort than it is just to salvage it. You know, people can mend with magic, you know, right? Do you? Uh, I can. Not right now, though. <sighs> Very well, let's take it anyway, then. I will, I will take that. <laughs> the crab is still furiously reaching for, for, for panic and trying to snip. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try one last thing. Okay. I'm gonna try to serenade this crab into letting go of the knife. Okay. Play a song or sing a tune because you, your hands are a bit full, I guess. Or no, I've, I'm mage handing it. Right? Oh right, you are, you are right. Sorry. We whalers on the moon. We carry a harpoon. We hunt some whales. We sing tall tales and sing our whaling yeah, tune. Yeah, yeah. Hey. <laughs> Roll a performance check. Oh my god, Greckles just face palms. Fifteen. The crab lets go. Hooray. Onto the ground. I'm learning so much about natural ocean creatures. <laughs> and the crab, like, snips its claws in approval and then scuttles off to the ocean. Panic bows. <laughs> uh, Borky, as you're digging your hole, all of a sudden you feel ocean water rush inside. No! <laughs> Apparently Borky is learning a lot about the ocean, Borky too. Borky crawls out of the hole. Ugh. Ugh. You're... Soaking. I'm wet. sorry, crawls out of the yeah. hole? How deep is that? You dug a giant hole the entire time you guys were messing yeah, with the I was <laughs> digging a hole the whole damn time. Well, I... did you find anything? Sometimes a hole is just a hole. Panic. Borky shakes himself off like a dog. Wow. Chris. Task, task for uh, the record for the record, this is not normal. None of this is normal. He watches the crab goes back into the ocean eagerly and disappears beyond the waves. Tell them of my songs, crabbling. I ritual cast identify on the knife. <laughs> okay, <laughs> nothing. There's no magic to it. It's just a knife. This was a fun adventure, guys. Okay. <laughs> I put it away. Thanks for the session, guys. See you next week. <laughs> yeah, let's continue, I guess. Yeah, you guys continue on. Just give me one second. I forgot to turn off my heater. I will be one second here. Oh, God. Oh, <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> what? I'm okay. Oh, oh my god. I'm fucking <laughs> Oh excuse. my god, Nadine. I'm sorry. Don't, don't, don't apologize. I, tri I tripped on my siphon. I left it next to my desk. And I tripped oh my on god. It. Oh my god. <laughs> sorry. The chat said the, cra the crab got you.
<laughs> she no longer drops the dice. She dropped herself. Oh no! Oh. Sorry, sorry. Was that really loud? I'm it it, really it wasn't. It was. I was like, oh fuck! And she, she slammed it to the ground. Yeah. It was like I just went. No, don't die. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Okay, back to adventure. And not Are my you engine. okay? I'm Are not you... hurt. I'm, I'm fine. I just I stumbled. I'm fine. Fine, but I knocked over my head. <laughs> so for right, Everyone, pl press Sorry. F to pay respects, guys, to the DM. Uh... Uh, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Um. All right. So you guys continue walking. Uh, the ocean lolling back and forth, back and forth. It's it's pretty choppy, uh, given the storm. Uh, there's also a lot of wind. Your guys' hair is being tussled to the side. There's a spray of the ocean on your skin. Your sinuses are feeling great, though. Hmm. But, uh... I miss this. I miss this so much. I lived by the ocean. Barky's nice. shivering. <laughs> regretting his decision. It's pretty cold. <laughs> At this point, like, you're feeling the crisp fall air, and as you walk, you even see along the coastline, some of the trees are changing color now. At this point. You guys walk and walk. Do you guys want to stop and take a short rest? Yeah. Sure, why not? not? Well. Okay, you guys yeah. stop. Uh, I'm gonna say because it'd be cute. Uh, Ty packed you guys some lunches. Don't. Don't. Oh, fair enough. Some little, some little, some little uh, deli sandwiches and whatnot. Oh. Yum yum yum. And... I'm gonna I'm gonna press the digitation Borky's clothes so they're dry now. Oh. And I'm gonna roll a survival to see if I can gather any natural supplies of the area. Oh. Thank you, Patty. <laughs> Survival. 13. You find some more shells. You find a scallop shell. And All you right. find a couple of really pretty clam shells. Mm. You also find another crab, but this one doesn't want to fight. It just scuttles off. I actually want to... Mm. Is, is that... Uh... Crap, I guess I would be soaking wet if I jumped in the ocean. Uh, but your natural feathers block out most of the cold. See, that's what I'm not sure of. What are you trying to do? I just kind of want to scour the shallows to see if there's anything worth finding. Sure. I'm Okay, so... Manta ray cloak, jump into the shallows? Yeah. Okay. You scour around, you see a decent amount of, of silver fish. You see logs and things, rocks. Um, you do see some more wreckage, but nothing that looks like, you know, there's treasure or anything in there. You see, like, an mm -hmm. upturned old dinghy um, kind of broken down with time. There's no paddles or anything. Um, you see some rocks. You see a significant amount of, of marine life. You see a lot of fish. Um, are, is, are, I can't talk today. Is there any coral or anything to speak of like that? Uh, mostly rocks. Okay. You I'm, see I'm, barnacles, like barnacles on things, but that's about it. I would love to find something worth bringing back to task. Uh, roll an investigation check. All right. Ten. A shark. A shark. <laughs> you got me a shark. <laughs> <laughs> oh, as you're swimming, you almost barely miss it, but you find a sea urchin. Oh, God. Okay, well, I'll mage hand that. You pull the sea urchin from its rock and make your way to the surface. Hey, As Task! Turn to look. Come check this out. That's a giant caltrop. You wish. This is actually alive. Task looks at him just like, what the f- what? It's a sea this urchin. A sea urchin? A Believe it or not, back home we would we used to eat these. Should we kill it and keep it for the hunt? No, I just thought it might be interesting for you to see. No, it's well. At least I'm seeing new, strange things. I assume based on its shell, I don't want to touch it. No, probably not. Uh... Wait, does it secrete poison? I don't. <sighs> Can I actually knowledge nature to see if this this type of sea urchin would? Absolutely. Okay, nature, 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 nature. Eleven. You think that if it even if it did, it probably wouldn't be enough to actually work on like a weapon or something. It might, but it probably wouldn't. It probably wouldn't be potent enough. Funny enough, if we can 
un- if we can hollow out whatever's inside, it'd be funny to use this as an arrow. I don't know if these quills would actually be strong enough for an arrow. I mean, you, that's more your department. Put it on the floor. <laughs> okay. Pop you it put down. it on the sand. You put it on the sand there for you. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, what would I roll to, you know, like, like down this thing quietly without, you know, hurting myself? Uh, just roll an attack roll. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, I have a dagger, right. <laughs> a 20. You stab the urchin without any remorse. And it dies, you soon. Okay. Survival, let's crack this bad boy open. Survival, nine. It's so weird. You, you, you poke yourself a couple times on the fingertips. Eventually you get the meat out, and it's like weirdly grossly orange. Mm. Um... I'll say you get three urchin quills, but beyond that, you couldn't really salvage much of anything. You could probably tie those to an arrow. Like no, I'm fine. I, I like the it's it's fine. This is fine. Task is like looking at this like yo, all right. Th- this is a fun little getaway from all the norm. Task has never been to the ocean, so getting small little prizes like this is actually like making him somewhat happy. I know it doesn't look very good, but that meat is actually pretty dang delicious. Do you want to hold on to it to try and use it for food? Uh, it'd probably be better to cook now if we can. Uh, shellfish goes bad pretty quick. Let's do it then. Bring it back. Uh, I'm gonna go. Fi- I'm gonna go see if I can start a campfire. Okay. I'll say because you have your firebolt, you do. Yeah. You just put uh, on some driftwood and. We just uh, put probably put a little bit of it on, a, on a stick or a heated rock and just cook, cook it up. Nice. You do. Um, I mean, you're not really doing anything crazy with it. You're just cooking it over the fire. Yeah, Eventually yeah, yeah. it cooks and it's sizzling. Uh, the rest of you guys have kind of got camp all kind of finished. You guys finish your sandwiches and the urchin's ready to go. Well, Take a nibble of it. Very fishy. It's very oceany tasting, which um, you're not too used to. It's very overpowering in a way. Blue. Oh, not a fan. Strong, just something I've never had before. It's unusual, but you get used to it, and I'll just pop in my portion and just eat it, no problem. Yeah, it's 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 a common food in the Eastern Isles. It's actually pretty popular. Oh yeah, Task will still down it. He's gonna like, oh geez, and then just finish the rest of it. If we ever make it back home, there's plenty more where that came from. Are they all as strange tasting as that? It gets peculiar. Have you ever heard of eel? Yes, actually. Lots of that Lots of that back home. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, Borky. Does that interest you, Borky? Nope. (laughs) 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 All right, guys. Well, I think we're all done here. Let's keep going. Yeah, yeah. You guys continue walking for hours and hours and hours, eventually getting sand in your boots for those you have boots. Damn it. I don't wear wear shoes. Sand in my boot for fucking ever. You guys walk and walk. It's very overcast. There's still that cold lolling of the ocean. There's breaks in the skyline where you see the sun. Uh, And eventually you do see something up ahead. Um, Not a crab with a knife, sadly. (laughs) Um, But you do see a form moving up ahead. And as you guys, I assume you guys continue walking forward. You guys want to stop? Uh, I'm going to perception this. Yeah, yeah. Nat 20. Nat 20. (laughs) Um, so Greckles, as, as you're all walking and talking about urchin and eel and the like, uh, you see up ahead, a woman with a very long braid running down her back, almost past her butt. Um, and you see her currently pulling something, uh, up the coastline, up to basically the land. Mm -hmm. Um, and you see it's a crab pot. She's currently dragging a crab pot and she's wearing what looks like a very thick fur jacket, uh, very interesting clothing. You get the sense of her with that perception check. She is mm-hmm. not native to Alabast. Oh. Um, and she's currently like pulling and you notice some crabs are like getting out. She's running over, grabbing the crab and like very carefully putting it back into the crab pot and just <laughs> keeps pulling it. Hey guys. She... Yeah. I was just, I, I'm going to relay that information. Uh, let's go help her. She's definitely not native. 
Well, I guess this net could be of some use in some way. Let's uh, approach her. Technically, none of us are. That's my point. You seem to be having trouble keeping your prey inside there. Uh, as you guys walk up, she notices your voice and she turns around and she takes, she looks terrified. She takes one step back and immediately starts gunning it to the landline. She just runs. Oh. Whoa, oh, whoa, whoa. Oh. It was me. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Panic, panic, panic. Can you do your thing? You forgot your crabs. <laughs> Borky, Borky, I, 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 Borky <laughs> grabbed the net full of crabs. <laughs> It's it's a crab pot. It's like a big basket, and there's like at this point with her running, the same crab that she's tossing back in is now scuttling away. Okay, can, we, can we grab the crab pot then? All right, you grab the crab pot. It's heavy. There's there's probably about seven large crabs in there. I'm actually gonna go after her. Are you? Okay. All right, so Bor I want to try and charisma check her. Bor Borky, yeah, Borky has the pot. So the, the giant crab cage. So he guess he follows with it. Raced. Uh. <laughs> I was going to say, hey, Borky, there was something we could do to keep those things from getting oh, out. Task has the ruined net. We could use whatever is usable for this to keep the lid down. Oh, is this is this a cast iron pot? Uh, it's not cast iron. It's 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 basically like um, two rings of wood. And then there's netting uh, that basically like it, it's set up. Uh, it's hard to explain. It's basically like a weird funnel netted barrel oh it's a wooden thing. lobster yeah. trap yeah it's like a, yeah, it's like yeah, a lobster yeah, trap yeah, yeah, yeah except except it's round it's actually round and made with rope rather than being made of completely out of wood um and and the crabs are like trapped inside of it you see the bits of what looks like a fish left over from using it as bait oh um, cool yeah the natural way of doing it that's pretty yeah. rad mm -hmm. um Greckles, you take off after i'm full bolting and unless she can move 40 feet i'll eventually catch up to her uh, she's not, she can outrun you, but there's something else she's going to try oh. to do. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. I guess we're following, also. Uh, yeah, does, does Borky just have yeah, the pot? Yeah, like, yeah oh, Borky's... Just... Hey, I've got your crabs! I've got... It's not, for you, Borky, it's not that heavy, but it is awkward. It's very large. Well, Borky's, hop... Borky's um, hefted it onto his shoulder. I need you to make oh, no. a... Oh, no. What's the saving throw for this spell? Oh dear. I need you to make a strength saving throw. Oh good, oh, my favorite stat. Uh 16. 16? Okay, you pass. As you're running, she's running too. Um, and she sees you up. Are you on the ground or on the trees? I'm just running towards her, shouting, You forgot your basket. Um, she hears your voice and jolts at it. And then you watch as he brings her hands around and forces out magic. And as she does, some of the vines around you reach out and try and grab you. Let me try to charisma check, if that's possible. Sure, with disadvantage. Okay. Ooh, that's seven. <laughs> <laughs> she's she's still gunning it, and she's doing quite well. Um, what Do you have any favorite terrain? Uh, I do not, but I'm not slowed okay. by any difficult terrain. Right, okay. Then you're good. Yeah, you're keeping up with her. Um, uh, the rest of you guys are following as well. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, you guys race. You can kind of see Greckles up ahead, and you guys are running and running and running. Eventually, Greckles, you've almost reached her, and you see a large wooden house, like a large wooden stronghold esque sort of house, kind of leans into an angle. Mm -hmm. And you watch as she runs up to that door, and she rips open the door. Do you try and do anything? You have a chance to throw or do something or call out. I'll just call out to her again. Okay, we don't... roll another charisma save with disadvantage. <sighs> God damn, it's another seven. What do you yell out? We're just trying to help. Yeah, clunk, she slams the door. And as you clunk right into the door, your clunk, clunk, latches close up. <sighs> uh, you're in front of <sighs> this very large house made out of cedar and different woods. Why are women always running away from us? Well, we don't exactly look the part of the handsome gentleman except for you. <laughs> yeah. Roll. <laughs> although, the, although that does give me I, an idea. Um, oh, you're going to use my body again, aren't you? Oh my god, shut up, you wish. <laughs> um, Greckles, Greckles tilts the hat be. and uh, takes takes the form of a uh, a middle aged fisherman. And uh, I'll, 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 I'll I'll throw my voice. 
Yeah. Or not throw my voice, but uh, mimic voice. You've heard some gruff sailors on your way to Alabast, so you got mm -hmm. that in spades. Do you know any sailors? <laughs> oh <my> God, shut <laughs> up. <laughs> Need to dry forklift intensifies. <laughs> All right. What do you say? I actually just calmly knock on the door. You hear whispering inside. Ma'am, you forgot your crabs! That's my sailor voice. You hear a voice inside. Ah, Spongebob, you forgot your crabs! Is this... I didn't know you Danny hear... DeVito was a sailor. You hear a, a panicked voice inside as you kind of do, like, lean up your ear to the door. Yeah, yeah, I would be listening. Okay. Uh, you hear a voice say, Do we all hear yourself. this? No, just crackles. Oh. I mean, I can repeat it to you guys. That's true. Which which I would do. I do that. Gosh, she she do she's 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 that. speaking in some kind of weird language. Uh, oh, have we caught up at this point? Yeah, you guys are there. You're right in front of the house. It's a very big, beautiful house. If you want to roll knowledge history, any of you guys can to identify Ooh. the. Yeah, I wouldn't mind that actually. Ooh, I'm actually saying disadvantage for you, Greckles, because you would have no idea. That's fine. Uh, it's over to 11 anyway. Same with you, Borky. You wouldn't know. Okay. Uh, Panic, you would know. And potentially, actually, Task, you may know as well. So what uh, am I rolling? History? History, history yeah. 14. Babushki. 11. 11. Okay. Um, Task, you've met, you've seen this type of crafts work before. You've seen it in ships on your travels to Alabast. This is Northlander architecture. Hmm. And what you know of Northlanders in your, your time being with them is that they're very northern-based people. Um, and as you guys are looking at the house and knocking on the door, you hear a <laughs> up above the door. Take a step back. Yeah, stepping back. As you step back, you see what looks like a kid, maybe like five. And he grabs a sack of something and then just dumps it out on you guys everybody roll acrobatics oh, checks no. oh my god. god yeah this why am i proficient in this <laughs> 11 15 a nimble fellow 14 all right uh greckles you immediately are like zoom you get right out of there uh borky you're just like nope in fact your danger sense i would say would work for this you you like full-on like jump and do like a front roll um task and and uh panic you guys are standing there and as you're looking at the architecture uh task and and panic as you're just like huh uh, a bunch of salt drops on you and just cakes you and then you hear <laughs> as the as the top door closes yeah i shake well, myself off and press the digitation myself again <laughs> i'm gonna bottle some of the salt uh, Greckles, you did go back to the door. Did us? Uh, did, uh, did, was, was, uh, was Task the only one who passed that history check? Uh, yeah, yeah you don't know. Uh -huh. Apparently these people are from, uh, way up north. These, uh, this architecture is that of the people of the northern lands. Hmm. Well, well, I guess maybe we should just leave them their crabs and leave them be. It's obvious they don't want to spend any time around us. Yeah. That's huh. fair. Task, I'm these are your hunters. You talked when you talked looking for your hunters. These are your hunters. Oh, geez. The hmm. Northlanders. You remember you were told they were Northlanders. Oh, oh, fuck. I'm sorry. I no, I, it's okay. I spaced out for a hot <laughs> second. No, this is actually where we need to be. Oh, all right. Hooray! I'll, I'll just I'm, I'll drop the dis I'll drop the disguise then because it's not going to matter. Any the North Northlanders, yeah, or my yeah crazy? Northlanders. Uh, task will. Like, look back up to the door, or at least, like, look in there. Uh, the only languages I have is common and draconic, so I'll say in both. I came here looking for the Northlanders in both languages. Anybody up against the door listening in? I will. Yeah, yeah, I okay. guess so. Uh, you hear another voice go, Eric Gibson, Papa. Comprehend language. You do? Okay. Yeah. You hear, um, uh, these things are trying to spirit away Syndra's baby. What? <laughs> Cast out of den. Throw more salt on them. They'll go away. <laughs> I say, no, please don't throw any more salt on us. 
We are not here for any babies. Cal von Tolnum? Is it talking again? And then you hear another voice go, Nan prava akashi magi. I think it's trying to cast magic. I came hunting a bear. Can I, can I, can I uh, roll something to identify what language they might be speaking? Sure. History. History again? Yeah. 15. Northlander. Oh. Oh. They have their own dialect. Do you, do okay. <laughs> you, do you relay this information back to us at all? Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm saying this out loud. So, it's like, please don't throw salt up at us. We are not looking for anyone's baby. I'm actually gonna take some of that salt and just kind of like, not deeply rub it, but just kind of rub some on myself to prove that we're not going to be like cast out by it. We're not crazy fae or anything like that. Uh, you hear more noise between the two, like just kind of like chatter and a bit of arguing. Um, eventually, you hear the the other voice go, "Halva tall, halva tall, halva tall," uh, which is a stand back, stand back. And you hear a noise inside, like the moving of ground and earth. Uh oh, we stand back. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. The door smashes open, and you see a giant octopus now lolling out of the door frame, reaching out to grab you. Greckles and Panic, I need you to make acrobatic checks again. What? Or strength 24. of your choice. 24. Grab some music for this. 15. Oh, God. Are we rolling initiative? Is the octopus Tiengo? Panic, <laughs> Panic, Panic looks at the camera. Uh, I can't even. See. I can't even get it out. Never mind. Does the, octo <laughs> does the octopus have knives? This is an important question. It does not. It has a stick. Oh, Fuck. oh! I can't beat this. <laughs> Panic looks at the hard camera. I've read enough lusty Argonian made to know where this is going. Uh... You know, I wonder. I wonder if that's their knife, by the way. I'm honestly, I'm honestly mm -hmm. wondering if if that's the druid that just cast that spell and it's holding a stick. One second. There we go. Uh, what did you roll? 24. You rolled 24. You're good. Oh, but panic, you're not. You get grabbed, my friend. You are immediately grabbed, and the suckers smack up against your face, and you are dragged. Uh, everybody roll initiative. Oh. I've seen enough hentai to know where this is going. Oh, wow. Nat 20. 18. Wow, that's lucky. Nat oh, 20. my God. Oh, God. Who's got the higher dexterity between you two? I got five. I have five. Alright, so you guys get to choose who goes first. Or you can just roll. Yeah, roll roll 1d4. Rock, paper, scissors. Actually, actually, no, 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 no. I will concede. Okay. Because if you attack first, I get Colossus Slayer. Well, here's the thing. Did did this octopus just up like when the door came open, it was just an octopus, right? Yeah, giant octopus. Oh, I don't wanna hurt them though. Uh, well, I just dropped the dice. We could drop in things tonight. <laughs> this seems to be the I mean, we can do subdue. Okay. I can't. I don't have anything to subdue with. Greckles licks his lips. What's How? Your, what uh, lips? Uh, <laughs> what's your dexterity bonus, Sporky? Oh, my dex bonus is. Let me just check out yeah. here. My dex bonus is uh two. Plus two. Uh, okay. Then it does go last. Okay. okay. Uh, immediately, uh, Greckles, you managed to dive out of the way of this octopus. It's in the door frame right now. Mm -hmm. Um, and it's currently got poor panic in its octopus grasp. Um, what would you like to do? I'm actually... Ooh, mm -mm. He's not I'm being actually... crushed or anything. He's just being grabbed. I'm actually gonna drop, um, Fog Cloud. Right, okay. in, right in between where panic and um, this octopus is. Hang on, I gotta do. I gotta do my bit. Don't worry, panic. We'll save you. All right. Tokaisen, it's Bushinojutsu. Poof. Poof. There's a big cloud of fog around all of you. That's a. I believe. Well, here, let me click on it. There we go. Twenty foot radius. Yep. Yeah, that catches all. You guys are in the like kind of the intro way at the kind of the crook of this building, so it covers basically most of it, the battlefield. And I'm actually gonna try and run out of it with um, my bonus action. Okay, uh, you 
back. Yeah. Yeah. You do. You kind of run into some barrels and knock them over, but you're out. You can see the big fog cloud, and you do see some tentacles lashing up at the top of your cloud. It's a very big octopus. Uh, oh, I didn't do the turn order because I'm an idiot. Sorry. Task, it is now your turn. Uh, well, I can't. I, I was going to pick up the crab the crab pot and present it. I believe Borky has that at the moment, but you could you could yeah. run and grab it. Yeah. yeah, no, I'm just I'm taking it oh. from him. And I'm I'm getting right in this thing's line of sight. Get on a knee and present the uh like show my bow is going on the floor and present the the crab pot. Okay, roll a persuasion check with disadvantage. Fuck. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh, ten. Ten? The octopus gurgles as an octopus would. And you see its octopus eyes, despite not having eyelids, I don't think, narrow in suspicion. <laughs> Task panic. Rema- Task remains holding his head down, looking at the floor. Okay. Uh, panic. You are currently... You're... Am I grappled? You are uh, at this point... Also, yeah, where's um, Tarisk? You are uh, restrained, actually. Okay, let me just, uh... Just really quick, this fog doesn't dissipate after it's cast. No, it's still there. Yeah. Okay, just want to make sure that was clarified. The, I'm octopus like, how... is, the octopus is pretty aware of what it's holding at the moment. <clears throat> Give me just a second, I lost the information for this, actually. I don't know how that got deleted. Hey, uh, Monty, real quick. Yep. Uh, mm-hmm. where's Tarisk? Tarisk, he's with you. Uh, he rolled the lowest, I'm sorry. Oh, okay. He's fat. He's not having a good time. God damn it, Doros. Why'd you do this shit? Fuck. Because he loved him too much. You don't... Also, <laughs> also, I don't have the turn order on my screen, is it? No, because I don't have tokens for this part. So oh, okay. this is theater of the mind. How did okay. we do this, guys? Okay. How did we let this happen? Okay, so I'm a, I'm a little bit confused. He's... You are restrained. I am restrained. Oh, wait, no, you're grappled. My bad. Sorry, I misread this. You are grappled. Okay. Okay. I activate Barbed Hide. Okay. Can you? Oh, you don't have that in your thing. I have to look that up. Yeah. yeah um. I I looked it up. I, I just said that the information was lost. Uh. As a bonus action, you can cause small barbs to protrude all over your body. At the start of each of your turns, while the barbs are out, you deal one d six piercing damage to any creature grappling you or any creature grappled by you. Okay. On your turn. Uh. At the start of my turn. Okay. You begin to protrude out, and one of your protrusions goes through one part of the tentacle, and you can even feel the muscles of that tentacle, like, twitch in pain. Oh, uh, this is weird. <laughs> you should be used to it. Uh, did you want to try another strength check? Uh, strength uh, saving throw? Yeah, I will do that. Um, and I will copy that information down while it is not my turn. At this point, I'll say it's a strength saving throw. This is very uh, vaguely written. Wow, 17. You managed to get out. <laughs> you you <gasps> land face first on the ground. Uh, you don't hurt yourself. Oh. Uh, Graceful. Okay. Um. Well, if it worked, if it worked on the crab, it'll probably work on the octopus. Okay. I'm gonna try. That was to your sa- action to get out of it. Oh, it was. All right. Never yeah, mind. and then your bonus action for barbed hide. Yeah. Sorry. All right. Never mind. Uh, that's By my turn. Way, <laughs> I dropped a smoke screen so we could get the hell out. That's my turn. That's your yeah. turn? Uh, Borky, it is now your turn. What is Borky seeing right now? Fog and literally, like, some tentacles swishing around here and there. It's very hard to see. Okay. You also lost the crab pot and you were really liking no, it's that. Not, it's okay. Uh, Borky <laughs> is going to... Oh, I don't want to fight this thing. Uh... And don't. I you know, don't I'm trying to think to. of what I could do in this situation. You can always ready in action to attack bluntly with your weapon with subdue damage. Borky uh, stands up behind uh, Task and uh, okay. gets down onto one knee and readies an action, but bows his head. Because he can okay. kind of tell what Task is going for. Roll a persuasion check with disadvantage. Yeah. Uh, a, 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 what was it again? Per- persuasion. 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 Yeah. Where is persuasion? Yeah. Uh, here we go. Uh, 
we go. Five. Nothing. Nothing. Nothing from that. <laughs> the octopus narrows its octopus eyes even more. And also is bleeding a little bit. You get splattered with some blood. Damn. Damn, 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 damn. This side of the octopus is I'm, gonna do here. I'm supposing I'm the closest to him at this point. Yeah, you're like dropped right in front of the octopus. Cool. <laughs> um, what will it do? Uh, yeah, actually, you know what? I think it might do that. It's gonna try at the very least. Oh, uh, oh god damn it! Are you okay? Sorry, I got a lot of things on my desks for this one. I got like three books up. All right. So 16 plus 5. Does a 21 hit you? Oh, me? Yeah. Yep, sure does. Okay. You take 8 points of bludgeoning damage, and I need you to make yet another uh, strength saving throw. Oh it, cannot <laughs> quit you. it cannot quit you. All right, let me just subtract that strength saving throw. 12. It grabs you. Uh. Oh, good. Okay. <coughs> I'm done with this thing. Hellish rebuke. Okay. Oh, fuck. Boy. Wow. We, I feel like we came all the way here for absolutely nothing now. <laughs> I, came, I came out to hunt bears, and I didn't <laughs> want to be attacked by an octopus today. Hellish rebuke it. Uh, wait a minute. Let me see. Is this cast as a level two spell? I'm pretty sure. Um... I think it is, yeah. In all fairness, they attacked us, and we did literally everything possible to try and prove that we were. Yeah, I am casting this as a little two spell, for because of my racial ability. Jeez, that is fourteen points of damage. Yep, DC okay. fifteen dexterity save. DC sixteen. It's an octopus. This should be good. Oh no. Oh, it's Don't actually get... got a good good dexterity. I forgot. And it got a nineteen plus one. That's a twenty. Yeah, uh, it takes half damage. All right, so seven, you watch seven as fire a, damage. You watch Freckles as in your giant fog cloud, there's like a like a crackling of lightning and just poof, flames. And the octopus lets out this gurgling streak and then moves back. You have an opportunity of attack as it moves back into the house. Me? Yeah. All right, face slicer. Okay. Oh, no. Oh. No, stop. Okay, 20. you hit it. Ah. Seven damage. All right. It recedes back into the house. You sl poke it right in one of its little, like, holes that it has. You know, an octopus has, like, the hole next Ooh. to its eye. Ooh, oh, siphon. God. Oh, the siphon? I poke yeah. it right in. Ugh. You poke it in the siphon. It backs into the house. And then you see the same woman you saw at the beach rush and just slam the door. <laughs> and you're back outside Bork, again. Bork. Good. Gra Borky <gasps> grabs the the crabs. As we should say, we have your crabs. Hello. Can I do an intelligence? Uh, can I do some kind of intelligence check to see if I can think of anything to to communicate with these people? Task, are you sure these are the people we need to see? Because I think they would have written their post in English. Common, whatever. <laughs> they didn't leave a post. We asked someone in the Druid district where we could find these people. Oh. You hear a up on the second floor. God damn and it. that same five year old boy gauges the shot with another bag of salt. Task sees you guys looks, are too far away. Tass looks up at him, pulls the crab pot out. I'm looking for hunters. Salvo Sven! Like, he looks down to someone be below him inside the building. Salvo Sven! And panic, you hear, um, he's got the crab pot, and another kid goes, he probably stole it. Damn it. Task, oh God, uh, put, Task will throw the crab, like, gently underhand the crab pot to the front door. And then as you do that, one of the kids looks out and starts, like, jumping up and pointing excitedly, Bjornsson! Bjornsson! And, like, points to the tree line in the woods. Borky looks that way immediately. Perception check? You see two men walking towards the building, and they're walking kind of rushed at this point. B Borky drops his weapon and puts his hands up. Okay. 
Um, Task, Task had his weapon on the floor at this point, so yeah, your bow is on the ground. Yeah, Greckles Grekel, is gonna calmly sit cross-legged on the ground. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm like still recovering from when an octopus slapped me. <laughs> oh, that <laughs> was like, oh, that was like two minutes ago. Calm down, Paddock. I, I, I'm just gonna be like, ah, oh, uh, I didn't sign up for this today, and he's gonna put away face slicer. Okay. Um, the two men approach you. One man it has blonde hair, a um, lot of it. Uh, he's got this long uh, beard as well with braids in it, different sort of sigils as well. Uh, the other man is a large man with, with brown hair and the shaggiest beard you've ever seen. Young men. Um, and they both, like, one has uh, two axes on one side, and then the other one has what looks like a sword strapped to his back. And they immediately rush up and... Um, the one that looks blonde, he, he's got a different sort of look to him, um, as opposed to the other man who's kind of shirtless, just wearing kind of pants. Um, and he walks up and he goes, Outsiders here! In you common. Speak, yeah, you speak common then, good. We came seeking Northlanders. We come from Alavast. I'm trying to complete a ritual of my people and I need to hunt for bear. I was told you know how and to also, find it. also, we are terribly sorry. Very sorry for the misunderstanding. He... We, tried, we tried to give back your... We tried to give back your children's hunt, but they attacked us. Task, as you're explaining things, this man just walks up to you and starts, like, like poking you. Like, like p tugging your ears. <laughs> and he turns to the other man and he speaks in Northlander, which, Panic, you understand... He goes, Talbos or Kobold? And, and you hear, the Kobolds here have longer ears. Like, kind of like joking, like, look at this shit. Like, what the hell? Um, <laughs> and the other man just nods, goes, also, shoot, also, longer snout, too. And he goes, yeah, nods. <laughs> and, <laughs> and then it's just like, and then the other, the bigger man points to pan, points to you, Panic, and goes, Talbos Gotten. And the the man just laughs and goes, oh, Thomas Gothard, yeah, 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 yeah. And you hear, the man's a goat. And he goes, yeah, the man's a goat. <laughs> <laughs> but Bor Borky yes. laughs with them, not knowing what they're laughing about. Ha, 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 ha. And, uh, and then the bigger man walks up to you, Borky, and kind of like goes like chest to chest oh. to you and kind of like sizes you up. And he goes, Thomas Orkin, uh, Vitos Kal. And you hear panic. The orcs here are green. Like, what the fuck? Panic's, uh, panic, panic's face kind of goes goes inquisitive a little bit. Uh, Green? Are they different colors where you come from? And the uh, the other man, the blonde man, turns and goes, Oh, you speak North London tongue. This is good. And he walks up to you and offers you a hand as you're on the ground. I, I used to live in the North. I mean, I, I don't really speak the language much, but... Uh, yeah, yeah. I try to shake his hand. Ah! <laughs> terrifying appearance. I mean no offense to this. The women are not used to this. So much outsider uh, nonsense. It's, it's too yeah, much. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, <clears throat> um, as my kobold friend was saying, we came here to hunt some bears. You are hunting bear? Uh, first, we, we talk about bear a second. First, I have to check on my wife and Just, children. Well, One second. You should probably check on your octopus as well. Uh, we have no octopus. Oh, Olga got you. He like, starts laughing and jamming. Yeah, <laughs> oh. yeah I, I, I got her too. Yeah, you did a lot. You did, you, did what? you did what to my mother? My grandmother? He looks at you. Roll an insight check. <laughs> God Here. fucking damn it. Roll an insight check on him as he glares at you. Oh no, we hit get we attacked uh, Gammy. Uh insight what? ten. Okay. You don't know if he's being serious or not. And he glares at you. You hurt my grandmother? Uh, pa Panic just kind of makes this face out of confusion. He smacks you on the back and he goes, ah! <laughs> <laughs> and he walks up to the door. He pulls out a big brass key and he unlocks the front door and you hear gasps and like the sounds of people <laughs> running around. He goes, it is todo kondo altunda kados loco. And like, that you hear like chattering voices. He's like, we have outs outsiders outside. And you hear a smaller voice go, no, it's a fae. It's a fae, he's got horns. Like there's arguing inside. 
And it's just like, it goes from being like, like, no, 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 he's friendly to like, like, no, he's not. It's like, come on, woman. Like, damn it. Like, work with me here. And eventually, reluctantly, some people poke their heads out. You see the woman from the beach. Um, and she is definitely looking the most mistrustful of you guys. Uh, and then you see Graham Graham walk out. She's got a big cane, the stick that she was holding as an How octopus. Much of a and How she, much of a badass does she look like? She's hunched over. She's very small. Um, <laughs> she's got large earlobes with these big, like, wolf tooth earrings and a big necklace. Uh, and she's got a very, very druidic look to her. And she is just shooting daggers at you, Panic. Like, she's just, like, sucking her grandma teeth in. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Jenny, 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 you, you don't know how much you fucked up. <laughs> uh, you also see uh, another woman exit the building. Uh, she was heavily, heavily pregnant. Um, oh, and shit. she like, oh, she steadies herself on the door frame. And then you see two kids like clinging to her legs. And uh, the uh, the man with the, the blonde hair, uh, it goes and he turns and says, those are tall, tall, tall. Like, he's like, they're friendly. I mean, they're harmless. Like, it's like, and like the younger woman who's very mistrustful is it's like, no, they're fae. And she like, he like smacks her, like not like on the face or anything, but on her shoulder. It's like, tall, 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 fae. They're not fae. Stop can it, I, Can I, can I try something? Sure. Uh, Panic, Panic actually did used to live in the North and, and he's got comprehend languages on, so he can kind of. I would, I would say together. not this far North. This is like very far reaches north Would like, iron, can i can i well since i can understand what they're saying and like hear what they're saying can i try to like piece together broken northerner sure i will say ooh. and uh i would I'm just gonna... say general intelligence check would work for this general yeah. intelligence check both iron is too far north uh too far south okay relation. yeah sorry uh, uh boom natural <gasps> 20. Uh, what do you want to say to, I'm assuming, her? Uh, I'm, he's, I'm, I'm sorry for frightening you. Uh, we, we meant no harm. Uh, I'm, I, he's going to apologize to grandma. <laughs> he's going to be like, ma'am, I am so sorry. You attacked me. You frightened me. My quills came out. I set you on fire. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure we, we. Uh, I'm, I meant, I meant you know, I'm, I'm sure you knew, like. Okay. Uh, the girl, uh, the younger woman, she looks like, like maybe late teens, early twenties. Um, that's that's the thing a fae would say. Just a <laughs> fae would her, say. Her, her, mis <laughs> her mistrust kind of fades. Uh, grandma walks up to you, and there's this this sagely stare into your eyes, a woman who knows like so much. She grabs her staff and she hits you in the stomach, like oh, really oh. hard. Uh, <laughs> and she heals you. She heals me? Yeah, she's gonna yeah. heal you. Uh, well, that's not much, Grandma. Uh, she heals you for, oh, actually that's not too bad with your modifier. She heals you for 12 HP. Oh, I'm back up to full. Yeah, and <laughs> she gives you this like, this like, narrowed look and kind of like <laughs> kind of stumbles off. To you. Uh, I'm alive! <laughs> <laughs> That's scary grandma. Uh, the uh, the blonde fellow walks up to you, Tass, and, and extends a hand. Tass will take it. Bjornsson, son of Olafsson. Chieftain of this What's place. What's his name again? Uh, Bjornsson. Bjornsson. Let me type that down real quick. B O I mean, I think B J O R N S O N. Yeah. Bjornsson. Bjornsson, North Northlander chieftain. Alrighty. This is Half Dan, and he points to the very large, kind of scruffy half man. Dan? Uh, mm -hmm. Half Dan. Yeah. Half Dan. This is Half Dan, one with bear. Oh, we actually need one of those. So perfect. What happened to the other half of him? <laughs> half dead like shoots Bjornsson a look like fucking like I am Taraska of Iron Oath mm, proud name uh, this is my wife and he walks up to the, the pregnant woman who's just like she doesn't want to move she's like I'm standing here I'm not going anywhere this is my wife Sindra the All Watcher like it's like say hello ma'am wife I love you and she kind of looks at him like 
are you serious right now with me? <laughs> like, the shit we just went through. <laughs> she sighs and she turns to you and kind of gives you guys a wave. She's exhausted. Nod. Uh, these are my children. This is Bratias, daughter of Sidra. And he grabs his daughter and kind of rustles her hair and she giggles. And this is Jazzle, son of Bjornsson, my son. That's me, Bjornsson. And uh, this is my younger sister, Frelda Ocean Speaker. And this, she's still glaring at you, panic like. Hmm. Was, was she the one with the pot? She was the one with the pot, yeah. Uh, and then... to, to calm the mood. Oh, is he not done introducing No, people? he's not done. He he walks up to Grandma, and he <laughs> gently pats her on the shoulder, and she jabs him in the stomach, too, with the with the staff. <laughs> I just imagine she stays still, but the staff moves and with her arm. like. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> this is Olga Spirit Color. She's our uh, clan shaman. Olga. <laughs> I swear we know a Helga, ain't her, Dusty? <laughs> Well, we don't we don't mean you any harm. We actually came here seeking you out. Like I said, uh, as an Iron Oath tradition, I wanted to do something special back at Alavast, but a required bear, and there is none, so I wanted to go on a hunt. Uh, Bjornsson turns to Olga, and Olga actually walks up to you, Task, and you hear Bjornsson basically translate what you say. And Olga looks up to you and actually like lifts up her stick underneath your jaw and like pushes your head up to look at you curiously. Mm -hmm. And she turns and goes, Halt och bal trial. And you hear panic. He wants to go through his man trial. <laughs> what? <laughs> Bjornsson goes, Oh, I, 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 I lean, see. I lean down and I lean down and translate for task. Uh, she says you want to go through your man trial. By what now? I don't know. Bor Bor <laughs> you are you are becoming his man. You wish to hunt the bear for your man Bor trial. Borky whispers in Task's ear real fast. I don't think they know you're a kobold. And Borky stands back up again. <laughs> I, I mean, I, me can I, up, I, I mean, I, I I guess it could be something like that. I mean, uh, hunting a bear was actually something I did as a rite of proving when I was back home in Iron Oath, so it's kind of like re history repeating itself. Well, good, because we will not hunt bear right now because it ends up seeing unless it is for man trial. I guess uh, it's for man can, trial. Can I, can I, can I, can I, I, with my natural 20, can I still do some translating? Uh, who do you want to talk to? I'm, I'm talking to, I'm talking to, um, the, the, the blonde-haired guy and and grandma, I guess. Uh, just uh, I, I don't know what language you're actually speaking, but just like see, see, called by Ian and Klein and problema. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, that, and, that and that translates to, and that translates to yes, he is wished to become big boy now. <laughs> Oh, and Olga, <laughs> Olga slowly turns with a crane old neck, like a vulture neck, and she narrows her eyes and ears and nods. And she turns up and goes, how ball called Golton? And she goes, I like this goat, man. <laughs> uh, and Bjornsson kind of like hums and haws. And uh, he lifts up a hand and goes, I will talk with my family uh, clan. We will discuss this. Wait out here. We will decide. Very well. Very well. Can we go for a quick, can we can do I a quick bio break after, after this? Yes, this is your time yeah. for a bio Alrighty. break. All right, bio All right. break, everybody. Sorry for, for, sorry for dropping so much oh, no. stuff. This has been a very clumsy Entity, don't day. Don't worry about it. it <laughs> when do you drop the I house? Drop the ball all the time. <laughs> oh, when boy. are you going to drop the base? This is what I'm wondering. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, 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 no. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I'll be right back. Hello? Mm -hmm. Oh, God, okay, I was good. I'm not alone. I was sitting here and it was quiet. I was like, hmm. <laughs> Sorry, things got octopusy. Oh.
Uh, someone in that chat said, I hope your tablet arrives soon, Monty. I wish so too. I wish it arrived today. Yeah. Makes, makes me so sad. Oh, people are saying I tripped over a siphon. It was a siphon, a siphon for a fish tank. That's what you use to clean a fish tank. It's like a long hose with the tube with like a thing at the end. And I left it out because I, uh, I, I topped off the fish tank today. So I tripped on it like a, like an idiot. Don't call yourself an idiot. You made a mistake. <sighs> well, I shouldn't have left it out. That was the dumb part. <laughs> Everyone's like, why do you have a scythe? Because I'm death. No. One sec, I'm just gonna quickly do something here. Power of fish money. The fish are good. The shrimp aren't. The shrimp all died. I'm almost ready. I'll be back in like another few minutes. Yeah, for sure. No rush. I got my saltines and my 7-Up. Nice. The elementary school cure for all stomach aches. Yeah, I, I live off of saltine crackers now at this point. It's, it's come you. commonplace where like in the morning if I wake up and I don't feel well, I yell, crackers in the house. <laughs> then someone <laughs> comes and helps me. My God. <laughs> Sad, sad life. Can't believe you attacked grandma. What? She attacked me! <laughs> and I didn't know she was an old lady. She was an octopus. <laughs> I'm being a jerk. When I'm I heard sorry. the stick, I'm like, oh, there's an old shaman in there, ain't there? Fucking. I was like, no, <laughs> dice, don't attack. I'll deal with them whippersnappers. <laughs> <laughs> Goes full Cthulhu. <laughs> Roll insanity checks. <laughs> do, do we still have Gaijin here? I never left. Oh, okay. You're being, you've been quiet. I haven't been having a lot of opportunities to get a word in edgewise, so. Oh. And then we're just waiting on Zito then. Good job with the broken German. I don't know what I said. <laughs> <sighs> Whoa! Awesome spider, thank you. A growing DM needs All for right, you. I am back. <laughs> Welcome back. Winter. What? We got a giant cake. Thank Welcome you. back, green sorcerer. Everybody else is here. We're good to go. I think Taka is still doing that? something. Oh, gosh dang one it. Sec, one sec, one sec, one sec, one sec. Oh my god, we also had a crazy bit drop there from... Yeah, I, I I whispered at them. Verid <laughs> Viridian Winter. Ten thousand bits. God damn! Thank you so much. Oh, uh, check I, again. I albatross <gasps> with the twenty-five thousand bits. Oh. I demand tails cook off. I, I demand uh, ties cook off. Be shoku shokugeki. Cooking wars. What Cooking is Cooking wars, the dean. Oh, that's that. Isn't that that food yes, anime? It is. Oh my yep. goodness. Uh, thank uh -huh. you so much, Viridian Winter and Alpatross. My God. All right, I'm ready to go. You guys ready to go? 
Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, You guys stand outside. Uh, You guys do notice one thing. Uh, as the Northlanders go back inside of their, what you assume is your, their kind of group home, um, you notice the the scruffy man kind of like, as they're leading in, he, he turns, he goes, uh, Venice, and Frelda just kind of shoots in this like really mistrustful look and kind of scoots, like avoids him. Um, as you translate it, uh, panic, you hear, uh, hi, Frelda, and that's it. And then they all leave and go inside the home. Hmm. And they leave you outside. You smell smoke on the air. Uh, you see barrels of things. You see um, tools, various tools. Uh, you see some some animals actually hanging. There's a boar that looks like it's been kind of being cut to pieces at the moment. Uh, hmm. And there's, there's some places for some fires and whatnot as well. Just general tents for, for doing activities and whatnot. You guys wait for about 25 minutes. Anybody wanting to lean up against the door or do anything like that? Sure, I'll listen in. Okay. You listen in, you just hear Northlander talk. Uh, Jenna, it's, it's so much that, like, even if Panic were to go over there, it's just, like, people talking over each other, and there, there's, like, just, like, general is chatter. It, is it calm? Is it distressed? Like It's it's more like, it sounds like a, like a, a group council meeting of going over, like, what to do for the school or whatever. Like, it's just like, no, I want this to happen. Like, no, maybe we should do this. How do we kill the bat? <laughs> Grandma's intervention. Uh, bo- bo- <laughs> Great, grandmother, you can't keep turning into octopuses. <laughs> you can, yes, you can, and you know I can. <laughs> Stay here! You dare mark the son of a champion? Eventually, <laughs> the door opens, and you see uh, the hairier man kind of stick his head out, the brown-haired man, and he goes, Tolo, Kolo, like, hurry, hurry. I guess go uh, inside. Yeah. Okay. When you go inside, you see a giant room. You see various beds um, of different varying sizes, different rooms kind of cut off. Uh, you see rabbits hanging around what looks like some sort of kitchen uh, there's a giant hearth in the center of the building where everyone's kind of hanging around. Um, generally, there's like lots of furs out. There's lots of other things, a lot of hunting gear, bows, uh, a place to make arrows, uh, sort of run-of-the-mill typical stuff. It's very snug. It's super duper snug. Um, it's warm as heck. Like you guys were cold and wet, and you are not cold and wet anymore. Um, I love this place. Yeah, it's really, really super nice. And as you walk in, everybody else is kind of sitting down. Um, it looks like a couple people are drinking some tea. Um, and g- Grandma Olga, she she grabs her stick and she taps down a few stones near the hearth for you guys to sit down. We all, do we all, do, we sit, all down. sit down very dutifully because we don't want to piss off Octopus Grandma. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Act- <laughs> yep. It's our name now. You watch as uh, Olga pulls out uh, what looks like a cloth, like a very nice cloth bag. And she pulls out a few different things, what look like teeth and bones. And she takes them and she throws them into the fire. Oh, shit. And she begins to chant in in Northlander. And uh, Panic, you hear it as, oh, spirits of the wild. I'll I'll do it in grandma voice. Oh, spirits of the wild, heed my call. I, Olga, spirit caller, ask now for the approval of a man trial. And you guys watch, have no idea what's going on. You watch as the flames foof into a more vibrant crimson. And then foof again into a yellow. The one known as, she shoots you a look task. So, Panic, you uh, want to... Uh, t- uh, I, I, look, I look at Grandma. Task. She leaves oh, like, oh, more? Oh, oh Tarask. Oh. The Tarask. one known as Tarask asks for a man trial this day. Though our hunt has come to an end, speak to us, so Yidia, spirits of the wild. Tell us if he can do his man trial. And you watch as the flames flicker and subdue and come back. And each time Olga's nodding as if there's a conversation going on. She's like, mm, yes, yes, I see, I see, I see. You have a very warm glow about you this afternoon. <laughs> uh, 
eventually the fires erupt and some people back off a little bit, especially the children. They're a little frightened. Uh, Bjornsson and Halfdan, they're completely unfazed. Uh, Frelda also is completely unfazed. Um, and eventually the flames subdue down and Bjornsson goes, oh, she Olga. What did they say, Olga? She points a finger to you, Task. This one may do his man trial, but Yidia claims a price. And he nods. He goes, uh, he turns to you, Task, goes, you are approved of your man trial, but there is a catch. Yidia right. calls for the pelt of the bear to be hers, the fat to be ours, and the meat to be his. This is how it must be. She, I and, guess he, he replies all that back yeah, to me. Yeah, Bjornsson translates I, it to you. As oh, long as yeah. you can provide some way we can traffic this back to Alavast without it going rotten or foul, I will agree to this. The spirits have been told that the one who is with Bear shall lead you on your man quest. And she points to Halfdan. And Halfdan proudly steps forward and you watch as Frelda scoots away from him. Halfdan will lead you to a bear, which you will slay appropriately as is man trial tradition. You must do so through our tradition, or your man trial will not be complete. What does this tradition call upon? She hands you a dagger. My it... worst stat! Good! Does it, does it look like the one that I found? No, it's very much like ceremonial style. Like, mm. hey, Task. Yeah. Don't drop it. <laughs> Task has a knife. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay well Tass just like looks at the knife like kind of like twirls it in his wrist like doing at least a couple like practice thrusts real quick and then puts it down this I can do she looks up to Bjornsson and Bjornsson nods like yeah he's accepted she goes good the bear you find is to the northwest Go now, Yidia, guide your steps. And look out for the others. They've been hunting for far too long. It's almost nighttime. I don't want to eat too late. And they're like, okay, Grandma, okay, Grandma, you're fine, you're fine. Like, <laughs> calm down. Can you can you spell the name of that of that deity? Uh Yidia, yes. Oh, Yidia. Yidia. There's way le way less letters than I thought it was gonna be. And is that a goddess? Just so I have, just for clarity for me. Yeah, so you assume it's a goddess, some sort of nature spirit of some kind. Hey, uh, Monty, I don't know if this is metagaming or not, but uh, does this ceremonial dagger have any differences that it does allow finesse? No, it's just a pretty dagger. Oh, okay, sweet. So it just works as attended. Yeah. Okay. I mean, daggers are finesse weapons. You'd be using your dex it, buddy. It is right, but 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 at the but I'm just I'm just saying like. Like, is there anything special about the dagger that would, like, go against that? Mm. No, it's it's just a, it's a regular dagger. It just looks pretty. Okay. Um, it's very, very ornamental. Um, and as Grandma tries to get up, and, like, Bjornsson reaches down to help Olga up, like, oh, I'm your, I'm your grandson, I'll help you. She smacks his hand with the stick. It's like, I got this, I got yeah. this. And she stands up. Um, for the sake of brevity, I'll say that, Panic, you're translating things um, with the the northlanders at this point yeah yeah um everyone kind of like gets they're, they're very curious about you the kids specifically are like completely enthralled by you guys um in in that case i'm going to do a whole bunch of minor illusions of just like bears and animals and other nordic things as you do that frelda walks up and shoves you over <laughs> Oh, and, like, oh. everybody else is like, whoa, oh. whoa, whoa, whoa. And even even Olga, like, scowls at you, and she goes, Tava Koton Magi! And she goes, no fey magic. I wouldn't know what she's saying, so... Uh, no, she, she, she's she says, screaming at you. Yeah, she, uh, she says no magic, oh, Grickles. I, I was going to say, I think she likes you, but I guess I was wrong on that one. Oh. You were. <laughs> Grickles, Grickles rubs his temples and just walks out. Okay. Uh, the children uh, run over to uh, you, Panic, and they start yanking your horns. Well, they're they're 
pretty solidly in there, so I, yeah, I don't yeah. think it hurts. Your head's being jerked. Like, the kids are kind of tug of warring you between themselves. And you hear them, like, look at your mother, like, he has goat horns! He's a goat spirit! And, like, the mother's like, <laughs> oh, well, she's not, he's not a goat spirit. Don't play with that. <laughs> and uh, she just, oh, like, her husband leads her over to a chair where she sits down and just takes a deep breath. And you I'm... hear him whisper, like, are you okay? And she's like, I'm fine. George said, I'm fine. And she smacks him, like, leave me alone. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna pull out my guitar, and I'm going Frelhead, to play. After yelling at Greckles, runs over to you, and she literally like grabs like the front part of the guitar, and she goes, "Taldo, Fey, Magi, no Fey magic." Borky's about to Borky's <laughs> about to pull out Greckles and goes, "No, I'm just reading the room. No, no, I'm just reading the room for it." Reading the room for it. <laughs> Task. I really hope this was worth it. I I I'm. I, I, I attempt to convey that this is merely an instrument. She uh, she argues back. Fey magic comes from music. It is forbidden wow. in our homes. Boy, aren't these people just the gigantic rays of sunshine? I like Gammy. <laughs> Task wants to move over to... Uh... Oh, God, I'm going to say his name wrong. Uh, Bjornsson. Yeah, Bjornsson's coming I'm gonna, back. Yeah, I'm gonna head over to Bjornsson. Um, is this common amongst your people, or did the Fae just do something to slight your family? Uh, the Fae are very dangerous. Especially in, in unfamiliar lands. We've caught many in these buildings. Uh, they are very evil, and tend to charm women away. That's fair. But you should all keep in mind that not all magic is fey magic. My magic is actually Eastern Isles magic, so I'd appreciate that. And you should know, my feathered friend, our house, our rules. And he gives you a wink. And then you, he gives you a wink, and then you hear a <clears throat> from the chair, and he turns over, and his wife is kind of cross arms and stares at him. Uh, wife's house, wife's rules. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, 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 that's fair, but it's... <laughs> I use this often whenever we're in combat or trying to brave the wilds. Is that going to be an issue? Well, the man trial is between Tarsk. What is Tarsk? Wait, no. Tarisk? Terrell. Tarsk. Tom. Tarsk. Tarsk. Tom. Tarsk. Tom. Tarsk. <laughs> oh my god, I'm fucking losing my mind here. Tarask. Tarask. The man trial is between Tarask and the bear. Well, that's fine, Bjornsson, but as we both know, things don't always go to plan, and we could easily be jumped by some other creature of the wild. Like a fae! <laughs> sure, he smacks like you on fae. the shoulder, he starts laughing, he's like, that is a joke! Ah! Like, yeah. mm. If I could, if I could hold my, if I had to, to hold, I would hold them. <laughs> Panic, uh, actually would have, would have walked out after, after hearing what Grandma had to say. Yeah, you guys walk out. This that it got a it got a little too familiar to him. Oh, yeah. This is getting very unpleasant for Greckles as well. All right, well, we'll do this quick. We'll do this quickly and then leave. My companions aren't. Uh, no offense to your household, but their rules are a little stifling to them. Well, just don't use magic, and you're fine. Not saying you you're bad because you do use it. It's just the way the house is. Is, uh, is uh, so panic. You're outside now. Yeah. Yeah. Panic and Greckles, I believe, both. B B left. Borky <laughs> steps outside. Excuse me. Thank you very much. Grammy bows a little bit and walks out. Uh, mm. But uh, Borky actually walks up to Panic. Is it okay if I have a quick little bit with Panic here, real fast? Roll an insight on Panic before okay. you do that. Hmm, where's my insight? There it is. Ten. Okay. You don't know what's wrong with Panic. Oh. He's fine. <laughs> He's oh, fine. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pan Panic's just kind of, kind of got like a, a neutral, a neutral expression on his face. And the kids are like it. following you. Like one's grabbing your pant leg. Like, don't go, goat spirit, yeah. don't go. Frelda walks out as well, um, and, and you're bored, like muttering something under his breath as all you guys exit, and then she walks out. And she like argues like, no, I'm like, no, I'm not going to. And he goes, no, 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 like, like, apologize to our guests. She goes, she walks up to both uh, you, Greckles, and you, Panic. She goes, Come on. I'm sorry. Come on. I'm sorry. Panic rolls his eyes and 
Oh, they're outside of the house now, right? Yeah, she left to go apologize. Panic's going to pull out his guitar and start playing. Ah, she clasps her hands over her ears and runs away. And Bjorn's just like, oh, God, like, for God's sakes. <laughs> and We're as not she in runs... your house anymore. <laughs> she she sticks her tongue out at you. And, like, Bjorn my... smacks her on the shoulder and goes, goes, Frelda! <laughs> like, what are you doing? <laughs> You stick your tongue out as well? Yes. <laughs> okay. She scrunches her face and she huffs and she walks inside. And as she does, uh, Half Dan begins to leave and she like just completely to the wall avoids him and walks inside and Half Dan is like waves to her again and is like, oh, okay, never mind. And then steps outside and he turns to Bjornsson. They kind of exchange like, oh, make sure you have this, make sure you have that. Oh, look for these people while you're out because they're still out and blah, blah, blah. Very simple stuff. He goes, yep, yep, and they clasp each other's shoulders, give it a shake, and then Half Dan walks up to the four of you. Hello. 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 Are, we, are we prepared to make the are we prepared to make the trek? If you are ready, then yes. Uh, Nadine, what time is it right now? Uh, at this point it's about early oh, I'd say it's probably somewhere around between three o'clock and four o'clock. Okay. Yeah. Dusk is uh, best for hunting bear. Mm. Do bears like it dusky? <laughs> he laughs. He slaps his knee and oh, uh, maybe. <laughs> Tass puts down his hood. Uh, puts down the metal uh, slit of his hood. Good. I can see better in the dark. Uh, as you walk forward, uh, Half Den turns around and he goes, uh, There is one stop we must make before we go. Very well, as long as we find our quarry. Here. And he leads you up to what looks like a giant shrine. Um, there's stacks of animal pieces on it. You see elk carts. You see uh, what looks like wolf's teeth laid out, um, food left, and, and candles and things like that. And uh, Half Dead takes one knee and just quickly mutters under his breath. What is this custom? We pray for a good hunt from Yidia. Pass takes uh, the conch shell he found and puts it on the pedestal and kneels down. Okay. Half Dan then stands up sort of dusts off his pants a little bit. Very, like, everybody else in, in the village has like very very nice like warm clothing half dan doesn't he's got pants with like a rope around the pants and that's it and he's got two axes and that's it it's very bare minimum borky respects that wait is he, uh, is, is 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 he bear shirting or is is he bare chesting right now oh he's got no shirt on now hardcore yeah and it's cold but you know north lens he doesn't care mm -hmm. all right Pereira's done and now we go. So uh, he pushes a branch out of the way. Tell me, uh, Tarask of the Red Scale, what makes you want to do man trial? Back home in Iron Oath, this man trial is sort of a similar uh, event we had with the rest of my tribes. There were four tribes among us of the Red Scales of Iron Oath. And we all came together for at least a week or so in ceremony, and we all had a small little Olympian amongst each other. I first joined the Olympian uh, for hunting, and my first kill ever was a bear. And maybe take this up and hold his bow up. Hmm. He nods. He goes, this is interesting. You, you, you hunt as competition. This is not way of Northlanders. We never hunt for competition, but always for food. It is good you've come here. And he steps over like a log and continues forward. It's good you've come here. We need, we need bear fat for winter. Good for health. Well, we're not too unsimilar. Whatever we use for the hunt was also dis uh, distributed amongst everyone else at the festival. However, since, you know, first kill, I got first taste. And that was the first time I ever had bear. And I'd like ah. to relive that magic if I could. I see, I see. This is very interesting to me. You are also going to have a festival in big crowded stone place. Yes, in Alavast, they're having a fall festival as well. 
We are going there as well. We are trying to catch dire boar for a big spit. Mm. It's... Mm, indeed, my orcish friend. Which, by the way, you're very fascinating. I... You are not white. What? what? We have... We have two orcs who live with us. We have Boldrush and Old Grush. They are twin orcs. They're white from the North really? Orleans. White orcs? Mm. Oh, my mom always told me about them, but I've never met a white orc before. What? They're out hunting. Perhaps we will run into them as yeah, we search. Uh, yeah, yeah. Bork, 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 he kind of picks up like, oh, shoot, what? <laughs> uh, what, what, what were their names again? Uh, Boldgrush? Boldgrush? I will type them out for you. Bold Grush yeah. and Old Grush. An Ugrush. Oh my god, that's cool. All right, cool. Our chef will be participating in a uh, cooking competition. I'm sure during that time you'll be able to find what you're looking for uh, in Alavast, especially boar. Mm. Oh, we, we do not buy a boar. We hunt boar. We do so as, as Yidia commands us. Oh, so you bring your own goods. Yes, yes. In fact, we trade much meat here. All the meat on this land, and he kind of waves his hand around, this all belongs to, to uh, Bjornsson. It's his land. The, um, we actually, um, uh, you're from Alavas, correct? More or less, yes. We are the first people who landed here in Alavas. Well, sort of. We were contacted because we Northlanders are, are, are rigged and hard. And he kind of pounds his chest. <laughs> and flexes his muscles a little bit. They land on this place, build a tiny village, and they need to find places to go. And so we, we lead them because we know harsh lands. Ah, so you were their pathfinders. I yes, and he kind of gives you like this really like very proud smile. And I, I he turns back and looks at you, panic. Uh you, goat at one. Mm. One who is with goat. Do not let Trelda's behavior disturb you. She is very, um, <clears throat> set in her ways. <laughs> uh, mm. He scratches the back of his neck. And she means no harm by it, but we've had in, in past fey uh, spirits come and, and spirit away uh, women. So many women uh, are scared of, of magic that is not of um, nature. If I may ask, uh, when mm. they came to you for help and aid in such a task, uh, what uh, was your compensation for it? This land! Ah, our they home. gave you this entire vast area. Hmm. Our, our home back in Northlands was taken by Frost Giant. And uh, Bjornsson's father, Olafsson, was a very stubborn man. Strong fighter, strong as mountain. But uh, very stubborn. And uh, we want better life. And Olafsson wanted vengeance. Are you aware that there are those in the south who are actually having issues with fire giants as well? Oh, yes, we know very much. Some of our warriors have gone down. Do not want to start a calm, quiet life. They love the call of battle. Are the giants just a common issue all around the entire area? Like, even to the west and to the east? No, the giants are everywhere. You got storm giants in the ocean. You got sky giants wherever. You have fire giants here. You got frost giants where I come from. There are giants everywhere. This kind of gives me a very troubling feeling like they might all be converging in on us at once. No, oh, no, no, you worry too much, my friend. He gives you a pat on the back. The giants are brothers and sisters, as they think, but they do not work together, never. But they never fight each other, either. Are they afraid of each other and they know their weaknesses and strengths? Hmm, suspect for each other. One may, and he once again steps over yet another log, one may dislike the hill giant, but cannot fight the hill giant. They are brothers. That would be as if I tried to kill Bjornsson, who is not my brother in blood, but my brother in oh, spirit. Just like you guys mm. are to me. So they do have some higher mode of civilization, then. They're not just random folk who just want the lust of battle. This is very... Thank you for this information. This is actually kind of something to think over when we head back home. I have found an experience that some giants are actually willing to speak with you, if you can believe it. Mm. He steps over yet another fallen down log. You see why we hunt the boar? They do this. They, they, they smash over trees. They are a menace to these lands. Mm. Mm. We, uh, boar was meant for those who traveled down in the forest. We usually hunted goat because we were up in the mountainside. But oh, you're saying that there are giants that wish to actually commune uh, uh, peacefully with uh, smaller species? Uh, 
commune, talk to trade, that sort of thing. So there are neutral party giants. Does not mean we are are best friends and I'd invite him to my wedding, but, uh, you know. (laughs) This is, uh, this is uncommon. Uh, The ones that I've heard are, you can speak with, and then they tend to be, okay, are uh, storm giants. They, They love the ocean and they're very, very big. So it's a good thing that they are not enemy. Is taking natural mementos of the forest uh, looked frown- is uh, frowned upon on my trial? Absolutely. Why would one hunt if one does not use what they have taken? Such as wasteful and evil. Do you mind? Mo- because uh, I want to roll a survival and see if there was anything like gather wise I could look for. Are you saying that to me or are you saying that to. To you. Uh. Uh, sure, if you're gonna do that. Yeah, like while while we're walking, I just want to like see if this is like stuff I can like just grab. Like, oh, this mushroom looks cool. Oh, these berries look cool. Like shit, like that. Okay, you're you're stealthing, Greckles. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, I'm about I'm about fifteen feet out. Not too okay. far, but far enough. Uh, oh, ha- right. Half Den watches. Greckles goes, but where are you going? He does that. Hmm. I mean, I haven't been here this entire conversation. I I see. This is bird behavior. They like trees and. Hiding in shrubs and whatnot. <laughs> uh, I rolled a 13 in survival. 13 in survival. You go to scour around. Oh, there's a few things, but like it's all more of a burden than a benefit. And Half Den goes, why are, why are you looking for things? Something I picked up from the forest-dwelling tribes back home in Iron Oath. There's always something that could be of use if you look hard enough. But do you need this now? No, but I am in a new land and in a new place. Exploring and taking the layout of the land would be beneficial and also is something I'd rather enjoy. Well, looking is fine, but sometimes taking can be come from greed, despite being tradition. You must Fair be careful enough. and respectful. Task just like puts it, uh, retreat, uh, pulls his hands back into his cloak and then just walks forward. Very well. Uh, Half done like walks back and begins to walk next to you, Panic. You are uh, seeming still not good, friend. I'm fine, really. Just uh... He grabs you by the shoulder and brings you in for a promo. He goes, is it Frelda? I know she's beautiful. So beautiful. <laughs> and every time she rejects it, it is like dagger in chest and it burns and hurts. Bro moment this man, do it. Is this, is this why you're forlorn? Does your heart ache? Yes, but not in the same... <laughs> not, in, not in the same way. Do you wish to speak words to have done? What happens in forest stays in oh, forest. Thank... Unless Olga finds out oh, about it. And thank tells. God, Borky drops his pants and goes to the bathroom around the corner. <laughs> <laughs> Half ten looks and goes, alrighty then, and then looks back to you, Panic. I'm... I'm gonna flip a coin. Okay. Okay. Panic will, uh unsling his guitar from his back and hold it as if he's about to play it. And he's going to say, Back when I was a child, my father would say similar things to me about how my music was evil. And how he wanted me to become a blacksmith and not to play the guitar like like my mother and I wanted to play the guitar. He would get angry. He would start drinking. So I left. I left to pursue my dream of playing music to the world. And what Frelda said just brought back some memories. Hmm. I see this pain. You left home. You're very brave. Oh, it is sad. I have left my home, too. Mm. What have you found, my friend? What has been found since leaving? 
You seem to have found friend. Yes. Three very good friends. And you have found goat? Um, excuse me? You are one with goat, like as I am one with bear. No. I'm a... I'm a tiefling. Halfdan does not understand this. I am... I am a devil. Oh! Oh, ooh, ha, ooh, because, yeah, he like, he like wants to step away, but he's like, no, no, this guy's cool. And he kind of leans, are you a good devil? Or are you, should I be worried? Half done. More, more chaotic neutral. <laughs> half done means no offense, but this is very new to half done. And, and I, devil mostly comes from story and you do not I am like not, blood. not exactly a devil. I have a devil's blood in my veins. At least as far as I've been told, that's what we are. I don't exactly know what oh, I, I am, really. My... I was never taught what tieflings were. I was the only one in my village. As far as I know, my father is not a tiefling. He's a human. Half done feels like he has found a new brother. And he reaches out his hand, he grabs your hand really firmly. How so? And he whispers in your ear. Uh. Something really, really super quick. Where uh, are you? Oh. oh, secret knowledge. Chaotic metal. Half dead is bare. <laughs> yeah. There you go. And he leans back up and gives you a pat on the back, and like a nervous smile. Henrik just says, "Oh." This is why. This is why Felda does not like half them. And there's a hurt behind that voice. And he keeps moving. He pushes some ferns out of the way. He turns to you, if you're going to speak with him. Panic, ju Panic just says... I don't know much about how to mend family ties, obviously, but... Be kind. Be honest about what you feel. <laughs> oh, do not think Adan is not right. <laughs> Uh, Ferelda's not interested, but this is fine. Uh, he scratches the back of his neck. Uh, Greckles, I want you to roll a perception check. Hooray. Do, 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 do. Ooh, big 12. I've been rolling middle ground all night. Yeah. You do hear something off in the distance, though, with that. Uh, Borky, do you finish your wee? Oh, yeah, Borky, Borky's done. <laughs> okay. My wee. Oh, I mean. Let me, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll acrobatics down to the rest of the group. 26. All right. Uh, one second. I'm going to see what half done does. As you jump down, half done goes, ah, oh, oh, oh. <clears throat> spirits be damned. Oh, that scared me. Blue one. Yeah. Some, something's coming. Prepare yourselves. Something which, is coming. Which direction task holds his bow up? How, what direction was it coming from? Up ahead, uh, towards the west. I have a question. Are we all involved in this? Are we all hunting this bear, or is it just Task? Well, I assume you want to come with friends and have a good time, eh? Yeah, but do we all have to fight the bear? No, no. no. Okay. Have fun, Task. I'll let you know if I find anything else. Jump back in. Ooh, God, low stealth rolls tonight. Yeah, you jump know. into the, the shrub, the shrubbery. There are pie noodles in my face! Uh, half Dan walks, uh, he actually unsheaths one of his axes and, like, crouches down and begins to slink. We move quiet, like a wolf on hunt, and begins to push aside the brambles very carefully. Let's roll that stealth, boys! I already did, and I did it terribly. 24! Time to stealth. Oh, boy. Porky finds a log and, like, dives very stealthily behind it and gets that 18. 
Yo, so you just metal snaked yourself the fucking yeah. log. So you know like like the barrel in yeah. four, that's you yeah. with a log. One second, I just gotta do something real quick. I guess I'm rolling myself too. Uh, 14. Not bad. You guys all kind of follow uh Greckles. Uh eventually you begin to hear uh shouting almost like a man shouting, and half dead and shushes he goes, Oh, this is brother. This is Tolch. Why does he scream? And he pulls back um, a bush. And as he does, you guys see this. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> Not just a bear, but... Anj. A dire bear. Anj. It's a bear. We don't know... <laughs> it's a we bear, don't know what... but dire. <laughs> <laughs> just Anj comes out in ancient druidic. It's your oh. boy. <laughs> oh, that, that looks fun. Oh, what shit. are we looking at, Nadine? Uh, Wait, you see what appears to be a fresh goblin camp. Is that and, a... Oh, never mind. And as you guys look at it, you see large, almost um, naked in the, uh, the the jowls and the mouth, you see these these ugly goblin dogs like pr like prowling around. And you see two goblins currently have what looks like a, a thinner, younger Northlander tied, and he's like rrr, 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 he's screaming out, and then he's gets silenced. And... Half dead and brings up and goes, shh, stay low. And the goblins are hacking down trees, uh, setting things on fire, just clearing out the land. You see a deer, which one is just like literally just eating, um, like not even carving up, just going in and eating it right off the corpse. Oh, wow. Holy shit. Where did these come from? These are not family. Do you know that northerner? I do. That is Tolch, the spear obsessed. He is obsessed with spears. Oh, <laughs> maybe they heard about his spear collection and they want it. You watch as one of the you, you watch as one of the goblins takes Tolch's spear and just snaps it over the knee, and Tolch goes. Oh, oh, oh this poor child! Retribution <laughs> must be at hand. Your names are very straightforward. Well, as we get title for what we are. I am half Dan, one with the bear. He is Tolch, obsessed with I the spear. You are Borky the Sorry. You are Borky the Green, of oh, course. That's not bad. <laughs> this one is man who is blue, <laughs> bird. Uh, Clever. I do not know you much. You hide from me. It makes me kind of sad. You are like Felda, except for I don't. Uh, well, let me. Mm. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I want to be careful with that one. Hey, you don't know. Anything can happen. Uh, I, I think that the, my, my, my taste is not... Why are we talking about this? My friend is currently captured yeah, by yeah. Goblin. Tash, Tash, Tash <laughs> has a shot on the Goblin all the way in the back over there with a poison arrow at the ready. Tell me when to take the shot. This one here? Uh, yeah. Before you do that, let me get in position over here, if you don't mm. mind. Okay, so like... I have... Half, half done has plan, potentially. You have the a plan? problem. The problem is, if we go in and attack, they might kill Tolch. What's your plan, then? Hmm. Well, I say that, and then I forgot the plan, because I just realized <laughs> Tolch might die. But, you know... Mm. Why, why, hmm. but I, hey, Greckles. Why? Why, can't you, like, turn into, like, can't you use your, like, ability to turn into anything, to turn into... A big scary monster. I'd be like, blah, blah, blah. I can't. I can't turn into a big scary monster, but I could uh, make something like that happen. That happen if certain company would allow me to. You could We're turn, into a, you could turn into a goblin, couldn't you? Hmm. Uh, unfortunately, no. It has to be relatively my size. This this thing can only do so much. Half done hmm. is fine with any magic. It is just. Those who have not learned yet, who are not, and give them chance to learn, my friend. Just give them time. This is new land. Hmm. I may have an idea, but uh, really, well, really depends on what they find scary. Haften, what I can do, I can summon various illusions, which you might be familiar with with fey magic. But trust me, this mm. is not fey. I, I could know, because you, you are not fey. You are you are a man who is. Blue, but oh, no. I could I could potentially scare away the majority of these creatures if they're as lowly as any other goblins that I've come across. 
Can you can you tell me what sort of large creatures, magical or otherwise, that reside in this forest that I might be able to replicate? Oh, what does have them fought? A griffin. If we fought griffin, giant bird who was also lion, uh, mountain lion. Uh, hmm. Uh, half done. Haftan does not know. We mostly hunt for boar. Bear, you could become as bear. I think the griffin might be a better idea. Yeah, griffin might not be a bad idea, but we need to pick our gentlemen. As soon as that drops, those who don't run will start fighting. Why don't you just have it fly around instead? And just go, scraw, scraw, scraw. You know, that's the sound they make. Even that if it... Mm, even if it doesn't frighten them, if they go after it, we can then pick off those who are left behind. And while you're doing that, Pat, 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 Greggles, you could run and go and get, get, the, get, the, what's his name again? What's his name again? Long Spear. His, his name is Torch, one who loves okay, spear. Spear, spear. Spear Lover. Give a save Spear Lover. That doesn't sound like a bad mm. idea. I could sneak around them. <laughs> that is unless Torch runs too. I could, dis uh, I could distract them. Well, that's what we're trying to do, Panic. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm gonna need you to make me look like hella scary, though. You, uh, mm, mm. uh, how many times can you cast Minor Illusion? Uh, I've got two more in me, but honestly, I can't do much for your exterior appearance. No. Okay, so we've got these trees, right? Yeah. We could take some branches, attach attach them to my back, and you cast a minor illusion on them to make them look like wings. I mean, I already look pretty scary to begin with. Uh, I don't think this, out of character, I don't think the spell will work like that. Don't think it will, no. Mm. It's very limited. On, on a, honestly, just really quick, out of character, I think the best thing to do would be to create the griffin. Case, a griffin and just try to go that route. Yeah, so if the griffin freaks them out or they chase after it so long as they don't see humanoids and think if this is just a natural occurrence they'll either attack it or they'll run away from it and then we can pick off what's left you guys trust me to do this yep yes we do half uh, has only met you but i i trust you all right, let's see here. Let me let me let me let me pop these out really quick. Um, yeah, let me uh, and let me quickly see how much distance I have right now. Yeah, I got. 30 I feet. can reach every single person on this field. Nice. I got thirty feet to work with. Uh, oh turn order. boy. Um, is this just going to be bonus action, or can I actually like set something up to go in motion? I'd say you just can set it up and make it go in motion. Because what I'm going to do is... I can't see... Okay, there's 30. 30 feet away, I'm going to do Minor Illusion for Screech, and then bring one... Uh, bring an Illusion of one from the bush out and have okay. it move forward aggressively. So... Uh, do you want it airborne? I would like it airborne. Okay. Um, so half Den just sees Greckles make about six or seven quick movements... And then out from 30 feet every to everyone's left in the sky, you just hear a shriek of a, hor of a horrifying griffin. And then out of, out of the clouds, the form of one swooping down into the middle of this camp. All the goblins at once go, Rah! they turn over and they see now this griffin like flying kind of in circles. What's the distance to maintain the illusion, just so I know? Do do do. Let me click on that. Um... And let me grab you this real quick because I have this on hand. Bird. Uh, sixty feet. Sixty feet. All right. Where do you want it? Do 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 do. Uh. Dang it! I can't zoom in the map. Oh, this is a big map. It's a big um... map. Yeah. Sorry. No, no, it's fine. I just can't see the numbers. Um. Let's have it here. All right. And As moving if... and and moving in like this direction. Okay, can, can you describe right. that for the people who uh, aren't watching the visual? So he's summoning a griffin. You don't really need to know exactly where it is. He's summoning a griffin at a distance to distract the goblins. And as he does, the goblins all turn away from their prisoner 
um, and grab what looks like little crossbows and weapons, and they immediately run beneath the griffin. And one of the goblin dogs as well begins to snarl and snap as this griffin just kind of dips right out of uh, right out of reach. While I'm while that's happening, I want to make uh, I want to stealth around here around this pile of wood behind the house and try to get mm. the torch. I believe in you, Crackles. All right. And he's still actually within range to do the griffin too. Yeah. Mm, perfect time. It was perfect. Okay, and they are not figuring this out, so. The goblin dog does, though. The goblin dog stops. Uh, I'll say you're around here at this point. <laughs> begins to smell around here. The other goblins are, like, swinging their swords, like, trying to hit the griffin's legs. Another one is, like, threw a rock, and it, like, flew in the air, fell, and hit another goblin. The goblin's like, bah, bah. I ready action on goblin dog. Just waiting on Greckles to get his uh to get it in there and Borky get the guy walks out. beside Task, pulls out the lightning spear and readies action as well. Oh, faithful. My friends. My friends, when he has torch, we must remove these things from Yidia's woods. Sounds With good. pleasure. Hmm. 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 I said. I might actually have another plan. Freckles, I want you to roll a stealth check real quick for me. Woo! Let's hope with, I don't roll low again. With advantage, because they're very distracted. Oh, oh, hell yeah. Oh boy, here I go stealthing again. Uh, you like... Uh, 22, sorry. You full on front roll, and you're right next to Tolch. You're like... Rrr, rrr. Like, he gets surprised by you. Is he bound? Yeah, he's bound. His mouth's gagged. Uh, I, am, I, I immediately unbind him. Uh, like, he speaks in Northlander and like pats you on the shoulder. Like, oh my god, thank you. I, I, I bring up a, I bring up a talon and a slight bow and then gesture to move back behind the house. He does so. And uh, Hafdan turns to you, Task, and nods. Taking the shot. All right, roll to hit. With a poison arrow. My last one. Are you hitting the goblin dog or are you going for the goblin? Oh, I'm going for the dog. Okay, that hits. A 28 to hit. Nice. So that's eight. I'm not getting any uh I'm not getting any colossal slayer damage, but I am gonna roll for poison. Let me pull these guys out real quick and let me get some better battle music up. Alright, and my poison arrow is two D four poison. Two D four poison? Okay. Two D four. Wow, and these are these are some these are some hardy goblins. Five five poison or five acid, whichever you want to put on them. It's poison though. It's poison. Alright. That will hit them. Let me just double check, make sure they don't have any immunities. So that's eight damage and eight eight normal damage and five poison. Nice. Alrighty. Uh, As the goblin dog smells and you notice it finds a, basically catches the scent of Greckles, it's too late. You release that arrow and it gets hit right in the shoulder blade and staggers. The force of the arrow almost knocking it off and half dead turned and goes, shot my friend. All right, let's go. Everybody roll initiative. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Borky had a. a oh, were you, you were holding an hour, uh, action as well. Who uh, are you I'm throwing at the towards? same one Tass aimed at with a, a light, javelin of lightning. Okay. Uh, oh, what's the range on that? The range on that. Ooh, let me. Uh, Should be at least 60 40. feet. Oh, is it 60? I don't know what the. I am. Unfortunately, I do not know off the top of my head. Click, click it. Just click it. Like. Uh, It'll say. Just, do I right click it or? No, oh, just no. just regular. Roll to attack. It. Yeah. No. Uh, Oh, well, natural, <laughs> um, natural okay. 20. Sure. Borky throws a nat. <laughs> Why not? Wait, wait, for the, for the, for the record, Taka, minimum of 30 feet, maximum of 100. Okay. Yeah, that, I'm within range. Nat 20 before Borky throws it. Panic quick. Blow on it for luck. I'm not getting anywhere near oh, that. No, thing. wait. Okay, fine. <laughs> no. Borky hucks it. Nat 20. I will roll damage. And oh my Christ. god! Jesus. <laughs> That's dead. That, that is dead. Uh, I need you to roll an another. Uh, is is an he's got his brutal critical, so you got to roll another one d six, I believe. It's already dead. <laughs> is, is that is that max Four. electric damage on top of max yeah. electric damage? No, he he rolled just a very significant. Uh, that is four plus four. That is. That's 28, 
32. It's, it's dead. <laughs> it explodes. It's, it's, back, just, it's back, just dead. Back at the Northlander camp, Frelda's carrying a jar of water into the house, and she just sees a mushroom cloud explode in the distance. <laughs> yeah. Borky just st Borky stands she up with bits of goblin, and then it exploded. <laughs> Uh, the drawer thing is, it is currently in a, a pile of ash that was once a goblin dog. Now See, everybody I, rolling. <laughs> that could have been me, but it wasn't. Oh, shit. Shitty initiative. Eight. I can't Eight, believe okay. that just happened. My god. I have to roll nat for a one. lot of things. There's so my nat guys... one in Crepensen. There you go, of course. Twelve. <laughs> Twelve. <laughs> Let me roll for half dance. And, uh, Tarisk. Oof. And Taurus too, yeah. Let me grab a dice for Taurus. Oh, buddy, you are rolling so bad. Doros, don't cupcake. feed him fucking cup. He got a five last time, and this time he got a three. He's so My God, bad. poor fat boy. Anyway. My son has diabetes. <laughs> and, uh, He's got diabetes. Freckles, and then if you guys want to grab a drink, like this would be the good time to do it right now. All right. If I'm you guys good. want to. I've already uh, got some stuff. Right. So anyway. I, I'm actually gonna take a nice hearty bit of these peanut butter pretzels. Oh, yeah. Got a got a shill. Oh, oh, are those the are those like the the square pastry shaped ones? With yeah, the peanut buddy. Butter oh, I just had like a big jar of those. Oh, those things are so fucking good, aren't they? They're really good. Where is? I've been eating cough drops. Yay me. <laughs> okay, not bad for the gobbles. I just want Taurus to like. I want there to be like a panorama view of the entire like, of uh the, the sweet dragon. Like this is a fireplace roaring. Everyone's sitting there having a good time. It slowly pans to the left, and you it it stops on Taurus, and then he looks up at the camera, and then full blown Wolfer Brimley voice. Diabetes. It was really amazing goblins. to see Tar see Taurus in the thing. He was really he really was a great character in that movie. <laughs> you see, this creature, this creature can form and imitate any form of life. Ooh, that's a lot of gobbles. Yeah, that's a, uh, that's a, and then that's a lot of go Oh my god! Is the music playing? It's playing. Yeah, it's playing. Right, cool. It's quiet for me. All right. Well, half time got an eighteen. That actually didn't take me as long as I thought it was going to take me. Uh, half time got got an eighteen. So he leaps out from behind the bush. He's oh, Nadine, sorry. Go. Am I uh, Borky's not in the turn order? He's not? What? Oh. Oh, because you're last. Yeah. Nat one, oh, baby. You nat one so yeah. hard. Nat one, baby. Oh, it's okay. It's, 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 so it's okay. Borky got his moment. Oh, you did just nuke another thing. All right. Half Dan is going to run out, screaming at the top of his lungs. <laughs> Perfect I, distraction. I, I have so Ooh, many things. No, 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 no. Oh no, I lost his tab. Shoot. Oh, there he is. Can can I ask really? Can I ask really quick? How fast is this river running? It's a low creek. It's it's not terrible. Uh, it maybe goes up to your waist. Okay. Uh, righty. Oh, there's my music. It just came back. It, uh, it never left. He is going to throw an axe. That is a two. All right. Half ten goes. He screams. He throws an axe. And it lands next to a goblin. The goblin's like, ah! I kind of was hoping you would trip over the log face first. <laughs> and knock himself um, out. But that, if you had one, you would have, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He stumbled, that's why he didn't hit. Greckles, it is now your turn. Fulch is looking a bit banged up, and he rests up on the back of the house. He looks like he's been scratched and stabbed. But he's, he's like, he gives you like an okay, like, I'm okay. Um, I'll, I'll gesture him for him to wait there. Okay. Um, I'm going to give him a wink. Uh, give give the hat a tuck, and appear exactly uh, as Torch. Okay. And, and, and give another wink. Torch grabs his chest like, Ooh, like terrified. He slowly I, I, nods like, okay. No, I, I give him a wink and a thumbs up, <laughs> and a smile. He, he doesn't understand the gesture, so he kind of does a thumbs up and looks at it like, yes, this. <laughs> oh, why can't I move? Um, I'm trying to. Oh. Why can't I freaking move? Can you not move I, your token? I cannot move my token. It uh, is under your control. Where do you want to go? Ping where you want to go. Uh, I am trying to get. I'm. I'm trying to get over here, right there. 
Right there? Where, where, where there's still cover, but I can still see it. I can generally see stuff. Okay, I moved your token, so... Okay. Let me... I cannot move it to save my life. Holy cow. Weird. I, it has control to you. It's fine. I'll just point where things need to go. Okay. And I get no. that'll that'll be my that'll be my turn. I, there's nothing. Else. All right, panic! It is now your turn. You just heard a man scream and jump over a bush and throw an axe. <laughs> well, I'm gonna. I can I can see what's happening, right? Oh yeah, you guys okay. are like looking through the bush like it's like a cartoon. All right, well I'm going I'm going to pull, Panic's going to pull his nails across the strings of his guitar, arcane lightning crackling across his fingertips, and he's going to with a powerful strum he's going to cast shatter, right in the middle of all three of these guys hitting okay. all of them. Okay. Nice. Let me just go and click shatter level two. Jeez. Oh wow. So, uh, There's a con yeah. 19 thunder damage. Uh, and... then we need to make then we need to make constitution saving throws. Okay. That is for Miracul the gobble. Miraculously the griffin still lives. <laughs> Plus it's a con save. Oh, they don't have the modifier. Okay, perfect. That one fails. Number one. Mm -hmm. Number two got a four. Mm -hmm. Number three got a sixteen plus zero. And that's the only ones. That uh, yeah. So that one, the the one who got the sixteen saves, he takes half damage. Okay. The, other, the others take nineteen thunder wow. damage. Wow. Oh boy. That's and. Nice. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't matter. They all explode. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's then. like it's like like a like an absolute like two explosions in one go. The goblins, first of all, had their attention set on where their dog exploded, and then they exploded within the same. Morphe <laughs> turns to Panic and just goes, "High five me right now, bro." <laughs> Panic high fives yeah, right. him. Has anyone ever seen that Dark Souls cartoon? All right, it's two against one. It's gonna be a fair fight. What's this? Explode! All right, it's two on one. It's gonna be an uphill bat explode. <laughs> yeah, I've seen that. I've seen that. Uh, and what else can I do? Um. I guess I will inspire task. Nice. The jaunty northerner tune. We should okay. call our tag team Thunder and Lightning. It's very Celtic y. It, it gets like, you get pumped up there, task. Fuck yeah. Uh right. A ship sailed into harbor after 15 months at sea. The captain hit the tavern with his crew of 53. All right. As you guys uh, have caused quite the commotion, uh, you watch as a goblin who is very well equipped runs out of the tent. <laughs> the fuck just happened? He's like pulling up his pants like, <laughs> like, what is happening? Um, let me just grab him into the turn order here. He uh, he runs out uh, and sees Bjornsson, or not Bjornsson, sorry, Half Dan. Getting my names confused here, and he's gonna throw a javelin. Oh, no. Dan. Uh, he does hit no. Half Dan. No, oh half no! Dan. There's only a uh, half of him. Yeah, no, he, he he doesn't wear armor. Like Half Dan has very low AC. He's not. He's only wearing a shirt, guys. Um, and he throws it, and. Watch Halfden rage. Ooh. Halfden takes six points of damage. Oh, no. Ouch. All right. And it lands right in the center of his gut. And you just hear him, like, shout out. Oh. Ow, my gut. Ow, oh, my gut, Tinfrugen. <laughs> Ow, my gut. Uh, this goblin now on this tower is beginning to look out. He's going to roll a perception check to see if he can find you guys. Tower? Oh, that, oh, that. With a five, that's not gonna happen. Oh, I see him. He's down south. Oh, Way I down see south, yeah, guys. Yeah. The one who is eating uh, begins to move onto the bridge, brandishing a scimitar. Oh, and there was the another half one... of camp I didn't even see. Yeah. 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 I... Oops. This goblin climbs down from his post, brandishing his weapon. I want that scimitar, though. Gobbo dog. Now. 
seeing fresh blood is what's the movement speed on you? 50 feet, dear lord. It leaps over the fire. I'm gonna roll an acrobatics check for it. Roll one full to the fire. Oh no, I rolled a 50 and it's fine. Uh uh. <laughs> <laughs> and snarls towards half Dan. Uh, Task, it is now your turn. That's cute, son. That's cute there, uh, little Gobbo friend. Uh, not not Gobbo friend, but uh, hmm. Actually, I don't know. Do I want to take Gobbo friend or I want to hit dog? No, nah, let's do Gobbo friend. Mr. Gobbo friend, come up. He's all rude, awakened. Yeah, I got him. What's that mark on my chest? Hunter's mark. Yeah, buddy. Nice. I'll mark him. Hunter's mark and take a shot. All right. Oh, not so good at 12. You uh, let loose the arrow and the goblin too. Wait, wait. Roll oh, you have, you have inspiration, you have inspiration. Fuck yeah, roll inspiration. That is a D6. Three. Doesn't hit, still misses. The goblin like jumps back as the arrow lands in the ground. <laughs> he notices you now, the glint of your helmet in the in the shrubbery. Taurus swishes his, his fat tail back and forth and looks at you eagerly like, yeah, yeah. Go get him, kid. Is this right. move? Ha is this move half because of how big he is now? No, he's fine. <laughs> he Don't give begins... the damn ideas. <laughs> he runs forward, snarling. Borky, it is now your turn. You see your first kill smoldering. Borky, I love it when a plan comes together, and I love when we work together. Borky pulls out his axe, goes into a rage and charges and makes as much noise as he can to save Halfdan. All right, where uh, are you moving move, to? Oh, I gotta gauge my distance here real fast. I gotta measure my, uh, I can move 30, right? Oh, I can move right in front of him. Yeah, 30 Or he goes feet. into a wild rage and runs right in front of Halfdan. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and Borky's just like, pounds his chest and just roars at the beast and the beast roars back with with saliva spitting across the ground. Oh. Uh, no, I, that, that was my movement was my action, right? No, you have a movement, and then you rage, so you have can, an can action Borky, now. Can, can Borky ready an action? Yeah, Borky ready absolutely. An action. Okay, what are you? What is your trigger for your uh, action? An attack on me, or an attack on? Okay. Can I only be one thing? If you want to, like, say protect, protect Halfdan, ha then yeah, protect you, can, half you can do that, too. Okay. Halfdan, taking your, uh, smiling at you, like, yeah, we're fighting, my friend. He jumps over, grabs his other oh, no. axe. I was supposed to protect you, Halfdan. He's pretty buff. He doesn't really need to be protected. He's got a javelin in his stomach right now, and he's still yeah, going. Yeah, he's still he's going. smiling. And he hit. He hit very well. Uh, what's the damage for this? Okay, not bad, half Dan. You watch as he swings into this goblin dog. Which one is this one? The one that's not dead. There we go. He swings into the goblin dog, and it screams out, and he just hacks away at his, at his arm. It's like front leg over and over again, cackling madly. Uh, speaking of cackling, Greckles, it is now your turn. Wait, why am I cackling? Well, you're ah, a cow. Ah. He cacks. Oh, crap, you're crap. You're I, can't, I can't remember freaking... It's okay. Shoot, is, no, 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 is the throw distance 60 or... Uh, just click an attack to see. Okay, this is not my attack roll. Yeah, this um, is just a check. Bu, 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 bu. Okay, so it is 60 feet max. 20 okay. to 60, yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to hit him. Um, I'm going to have to say you're probably going to have to move over a bit, too. Yeah. Um, boo, 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 boo. I guess I can go ahead and do that, though. Because he's engaged. Um, oh, yeah. He's super engaged. There's a giant man in front of him. Like, wait, Hang on. Let me see if I can move. I still cannot move my token. Okay. Wait, so pop go. me right where the arrow tip is. Right there. Yep. And let's make that throw. Go for it. Uh, 15, probably not flanking. No, 15, no, that's just, yeah. No, that's very special. That hits. So you do oh. get sneak attack damage as well. Alrighty. So, t six dart right. damage. Okay. Um, let me get my 2d6. 2, 6. And there's another 6, so 12 damage. 12 damage, not bad. You 
throw a dagger, and Borky, as you're raging, and Halfden is is kind of fighting with this beast, you watch as a dagger lands right in the monster's eye, and it lets out this horrific howl and tries to scratch it out, but it tries to, but his leg is trapped in an axe. Like, it's trying to pull away from the axe to scratch the dagger from its eye, but it's trapped. It can't do that. I'm sorry. All right, end of turn. It's an evil dog trying to murder. Don't yeah, be sorry. <laughs> don't be sorry for it, please. All right. Panic, it is now your turn. You just exploded, like, three goblins. Hmm. Uh, I'm guessing I'm not... I'm guessing I'm not still in stealth. No, the other goblin noticed you. The one that uh, task marked. Okay. Uh, what ought I do... Uh, hmm. Just doing some... Doing some math here. By the way, you can take the Griven off. I would have to break concentration to... Wait, I wouldn't have to break concentration to attack, but I'd drop it anyway. Alright, yeah, might as well. It's kind of useless at this point. Yep. Um... <laughs> Poof. Shit. Uh, I'm not in range for what I want to do. All right. Um. Okay. I am going to move. Just doing some more measuring here real quick. Huh. I believe in you. All right. I'm going to move up here right in front of this tree. Okay. I'm going to bonus action inspire Yay. Borky. Bonus action is an extra. I can do an extra action then. No, uh, no, I'm no. gonna, I'm gonna hold my oh. action. You hold your action, okay? Yeah, and then uh, you're gonna inspire Borky though with your bonus um, action. Yeah, I'm in, and I'm gonna, I'm inspiring Borky with my yeah. bonus action. This is where Borky you get barbarian. The Borky barbarian. barbarian. Yes. Yes. Strong. <laughs> Strong, oh, refer yes. st strong reference. Yes. Good, good reference. Sorry, I love that show. <laughs> um, Kurt, this is the one where when you roll to hit, yeah. you can oh, add a d6 no, 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 to it. I actually, hit. Remember, yeah. I actually remember also, that now. Okay, you always seem to forget, oh. so I wanted to be. Also sure. works for saving throws. Hey, it does too. Uh, and I'm gonna hold my action. Uh, I'm going to wait for any enemy to get within 30 feet of me. Any All other right. enemy besides the dog. Okay. Goblin up on the tower, now seeing Borky flexing, is going to shoot you because apparently their <laughs> short bows have an insane range. More like... Lo that is an 18 oh, to hit you. It hits you? Oh okay. no, Borky the Barbarian gets hit. Oh, that's kind of a sad shot. You get hit for three points of piercing damage, which is cut down in half to one hit point. Uh, as an arrow just lands in your chest... Just, just out of just, nowhere. Borky's like, hey, what's all that about? <laughs> wait, the, wait, wait, wait. Did you, did, did you just have a Shrek moment? Yeah. Yeah, literally. He just like, oh, oh, look oh at there's that. an error in me. There's an error in me chest. Uh, other, for you, sir. <laughs> the other goblins begin to make their way towards the fray. This one's going to jump down. So I have to roll an acrobatics check for him. Hey, who threw that? Yeah, he's fine. Goblin lands on the ground. Uh, Gobbo boss notices your friend here. No! Runs no. up. Uh huh. With his he's, scimitar. He's within my range. That's a miss. And that's a miss as well. He swings twice with the scimitar, and, Dar and Taurus like ducks under the first swing and jumps over the second swing. Yeah! And then, <laughs> and then Wait, just so pants like. <sighs> <laughs> doesn't my doesn't my held action go off whenever it meets the criteria? Yeah, so you're able to go now. Okay, uh, I'm going to cast Bane. Okay. Oh shoot, I'm sorry. You should have gone first. My bad. Oh. Yeah. Either oh, way, I he missed, missed so it's fine. Yeah. All right. I'm, cast, I'm casting Bane on the uh, on the Gobbo dog and the goblin that's attacking. Uh, 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 yeah. You don't Can want you to hit the good boy. 
Yeah, All casting right. Bane on both of them. They need Charisma to make save. charisma saving throws. Oh, boy. <laughs> Charismatic goblins. I'm, uh, yeah, right. Goblin just pulls out pulls out his bun and his hair flows like five <laughs> feet to the back. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm gonna roll for the goblin dog first. It has a negative one to charisma. That's a natural oh, twenty. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, that doesn't change it. Um, and then, sorry, I just gotta. I have so many bookmarks. You have no idea. And then goblin boy. Roll a natural one. Okay, well the scale's been balanced. Hooray! Uh, so yeah, you bane him quite badly. He gets very discouraged. I'll give him disadvantage on his next oh. attack. Yeehaw! I can't hit a fat dragon. <laughs> so he gets disadvantage and minus d4. And minus d4. He just gets disadvantage for the one round, but the the goblin dog's fine. That's really funny. Huh. Okay. All right, Gobbo Dog now is going to attack. Uh, half Dan, which triggers your held action, Borky. I can't really do it. I'm not next to it. I can't run forward, can I? No, it's only an action, so it oh, fails then. Yeah, yeah, unless I like threw one of my other spears at it, I could do that, right? Uh, my, my javelins. Uh, it is not within thirty feet, so no. You could, but you'd be at disadvantage you if you that, want to try. Held, oh, you, oh no, 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 no! I, I meant a big, the big dog. Sorry, never mind. Yeah, no, no, no. You still, if you want to throw a javelin at it, you'd be at a disadvantage. You're too close. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, you know, I'm not going to risk uh, Nat wanting that and hitting half Dan, so I'll just wait. I'll just hold off on that then. You're going to yeah, hold off on your... Okay. Task, it is now your turn. One, two, three, four. I'm going to move right here. Okay. Take a shot at Gubbo, asshole. He's trying to hit your your friend. No. You leave him alone. 15. That misses. Fuck! You shoot and it bounces right off. He's got some nice armor on him. Like, not like really nice, but like goblin armor. As far as goblin armor goes, it's pretty sturdy. And it bounces right off his shoulder. Take a look at something real quick. Pull the spell arms, you deal. Okay. Does Hunt and Hunter's Mark only applies damage, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. Mm. Tarisk! Seeing like you get like you shooting him, he's just like I gotta kill this guy for my master. He goes for an attack, come on, buddy. Oh, he hits. Okay, I gotta grab his again. I kept I keep closing it. I gotta get him a new bookmark. Uh, where are you, buddy? Where are you, buddy? Shouldn't be too far from here. Ooh, sorry. Okay, and let's roll your damage. Oof. Okay. Okay, not bad. And then, there we go. Okay, I'm gonna keep this open up right here. Alrighty, you watch as Taurus rips into this goblin and just rips his arm off. And then yeah! spits it towards you and it lands on your feet and he like wags his tail like, look what I got you. And nice. the goblin just screams out in agony. Good boy, Good dog. All right. Borky, you now see half dead, currently still hacking away at this giant the dog. Borky runs r runs to the left of him and just keeps saying, ba barbarian ba ba barbarian ba ba Barky flanks the beast. And okay. Borky swings, ba ba barbarian 21. Nice. That hits. And plus two for flying. Eight slashing, <laughs> plus two for... Eight plus two for raging, so that's ten. Yep. Not bad, not bad. You cleave off its tail, and then you cleave again, and you hit its back haunches, and you see it like actually shrink down now. It's having a hard time standing up. And Hafton goes, good job, my friend. You are very green and very strong. I like you. And then he's going to swing. Come on, buddy. Okay, he hits. Let's roll damage here. Okay. Oh, come on, you watch, man. You watch as Hafton brings his axe, swings it upright, and just cleaves the warg's head right in half from the bottom up. Oh, yeah. Up. Damn. Sick. And the war goes to open its mouth, only half of its jaw opens, and it staggers and slumps to the ground. We did it. 
The fight is not over, oh, my yeah, friend. Oh, yeah, you're wrong. Greckles, it is now your turn. Seeing the beast felled, Greckles turns... Let's see here. Um, to make a mad dash. Seeing that sniper. Don't like that sniper. Oh, God, stupid. Hang on, let me check. Nope, still can't control. So, yeah. uh, dash. Why can't I... I can't even click on the correct square. That is so weird. So, 10... Uh, plus another 70 here. Okay. And then bonus action to stealth. Okay. That is a 23. All right, I'm gonna roll. <laughs> yeah, they don't notice you. All right, Panic, it is now your turn. Hmm. Hmm, I said. <laughs> hmm. What to do? What to do? Hmm. <laughs> Hang on, I need to check the range on something. Hmm. Oh, good. That's 60 feet. Okay, so I go here, and then I go... Perfect. Uh, hmm. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna move up here. Okay. Uh, sandwiching the, the, this gabo, yeah. Oh, oh dear. And then I'm gonna look at this gabo and be like, "Hey, when you see Ted in hell, tell him I said suck." Oh it. my god. Oh no. Vic vicious mockery. Fucking okay. my god. That's a max Lord. damage. Oh my god. Wisdom save. Uh, he got a 15 plus. It's, sorry, it's a wisdom saving throw? Wisdom saving throw, yes. That is minus one, so he got a 14. He just barely fails. He just barely fails. You're aiming for this goblin here? Uh, yeah, I'm aiming for this one right here, yeah. You killed okay, the one. Ted. <laughs> you see some tears roll down his face. We did crochet class together, Ted and I. <laughs> We had some good memories. Tell Ted I loved him. And what else are you doing? As God is my witness. Mm. I was about to say, can you move and cast two spells? That depends no. on whether the spell is an action I, or a bonus action. I I don't I, I I don't have any spells that are bonus actions that would be of any help right now. Gotcha. So. <sighs> Do I want to use my other inspiration? Eh, fuck it. I'll I'll, I'll inspire. I'll, I'll inspire half Dan. All right. Uh, he'll he'll just strum his guitar. <laughs> bears, 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 bears. <laughs> bears, 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 bears. You hear him yelling? I like this song. Why the smell the hate? This is my jam. <laughs> he does. Uh, he's feeling very, very inspired. The other goblin now very upset. Uh, it makes it where they have disadvantage, correct? Uh, yes, he has disadvantage for. Uh, 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 uh,
Not being wanting to be defeated, he has Bane. That's a D4, correct? Panic? Hmm? Oh, I'm sorry. D D4 for Bane, correct? Sorry. Yeah, it's minus D4. Okay, let me find a D4. They're always so hard to find. Oh, is that one? That's one there. Okay, perfect. That'll work. All right, he is going to swing once at Tarusk. It's a 13 plus 4. So that's a 17. So that will hit, but I'll roll his Bane. So 1d4. That's minus 3. So that brings it to 14. It still hits because it's a tie. Oh, he's really laying into poor Tarusk here. Ooh, seven points of damage to Tarisk. You hear a horrible yelp task as the goblin slices into Tarisk's face with a knife. And then he's going to swing. That's a two. That's not going to hit. <laughs> he goes, hooray, I did it. And then like in his mid-celebration completely misses Tarisk in a second swing. Oh. The goblin dog is completely dead. Task, it is now your turn. Well, I was gonna net that boy, but now, I'm sorry, son. You just did you a dumb. I still got Hunter's Mark on him. Yep. Just don't roll low. Yeah, I know, right? You gotta fight the sandwich. Here we go. Oh my fucking god, I'm rolling oh really god. piss. Alright, 14. In your anger, your bow shakes in your hand and you miss, and you shoot the ground between the goblin and Tarisk. This is fucking terrible. Tarisk rolls to hit. Ooh, he misses too. He goes to bite and the goblin just like backhands his face away. Forky, it is now your turn. You have a goblin currently charging towards you. Well, wait, Tarisk is at advantage, doesn't he? Oh, right! Wait, no? No, he doesn't. We're flanking. The thing's uh, dead. He has plus two, but he rolled like a four, so it would have been a six. Oh, okay. Uh, so he wouldn't have hit either Borky way. Borky sees uh, the goblin running right towards him. Borky charges right at him with his axe and swings it with all his might in a, char in a charging okay. roar. Borky swings his great axe. And a 12! But I got that inspir- uh, that? That... You got the inspiration, yeah. I rolled the inspiration. That's a d6. With a d6, Three. Yeah. That just hits. Forky. Yeah, buddy. And 11. Plus two, because you yeah. are raging. Which goblin? You swing, and you know that you're not going to hit, but then you feel... Barbarian. Barbarian. Oh, and you lift up your axe just a little bit, and you swing, and as you do, you hear a slick noise... And you turn to the goblin, and they're, they, like, look at themselves, like, pat themselves, like, <laughs> until their head just oh. falls off their body and oh, lands on yes. the ground. Jeez. Oh, that's good. That's good. Got him. Half, Half Dan runs uh, towards the other goblin and goes, I think you could use some help there, friends. And he is going to... Oh, sorry, my water glass. Aw, oh, Half Dan, come on. He swings and... He's got inspiration as well. He does, that's true. It's kind of low, though. I don't want to really want to waste it on that roll. Ooh. Yeah, I don't... Uh. Okay, he got the six. That's a 13. Yeah. He still misses. Nah. Wait, let me double check his stats real quick. He might actually still hit. I think he's got a plus bonus to hit. Uh, sorry. Yes, he does. Hey. Perfect. All right, half den does hit. Oh boy, does he hit. All right, you watch as he slices into the goblin. And once again, swings right into the goblin's side, breaking some of the armor off. And the goblin just screams in agony. This is what you get for disrespecting Nidia. One of the rare instances where my inspirations are actually benefiting. Actually really working out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, Grethels, it is now your turn. Um, I'm going to dash. I'm going to okay. leap that creek, so I know I need to do acrobatics for that. Yeah. There we go. The pointer is clicking to the right of where I'm actually... High reloading, going. roll 20. It, it, it's okay. It, it, it's honestly okay right now. I, it might um, fix it, though. That's the only thing. 
Well, let me let me do this first, and yeah. then I can eat the time up. Let you me go ahead. It? Yeah, let me go ahead and dash to the building just so I still have that cover. I'm gonna wait for him to this this boy right here to move, because what I'm trying to do, dash here next turn, and then go for the attack. All right, I want you to roll an acrobatics check though for that that creek. Just... Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, With advantage, because it's not too crazy. Yeah, you, 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 you just leap over it like it's nothing. Cool. All right. So are you, holding, are you holding an action then, or you're just waiting? Ooh. Boy, oh boy. Um, yeah, I think I'll just go and call turn. I mean, there's nothing, there's no action I can hold. I don't want to engage the mano a mano. Okay. Because um, I want to get to that sniper. So I'll call turn. Uh, next turn, I'm gonna get to that ladder. Okay. I try rerolling roll twenty. Just yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I'm doing that right now. Panic! It is now your turn. All right. So panic. Seeing that, uh, seeing that half Dan and Tarsk have the situation handled, he is going to whip around. He's going to look at this guy. The guy across the river. Okay. And his eyes are going to go. And his eyes are going to widen. And he's going to go. <laughs> circle of blasting. All right. Do you have a roll for that one? I do, I think. Uh, da, da, I feel like that's something I forgot to do this week. Uh, babushka. 17? Nice. You see plus three modifier, plus proficient. Uh, da, 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 da. All right. Okay, I got control back. Chaos there we control. go. Yeah, it's probably sure. just roll 20 being a trick. That Correct. hits. Roll All your right. damage there. Six fire. Six. Not bad. Uh, let me see this, guys. Actually, that's enough. You literally, like, Cyclops style, just press your tiara, and you see this beam. It just goes right through the goblin's heart, and the goblin, like, was pulling out uh, their own bow, and they just go, ah, 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 and just falls backwards wow. onto the ground. Optic laugh. <laughs> Fucking <What>? nice. <laughs> I love your death descriptions are so great. Optic Blast! <laughs> Good. All right. Does that end your turn there? Panic? Oh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for giving me cover. <laughs> this Gobo, once again, seeing that his arrow hit, is going to shoot for you again. Task. That's an 8 plus 4. That's a 12. I assume that doesn't hit you. Nope. No. Nope. He shoots and tsk, it lands on the ground next to you. And you see him grabbing another bow from his quiver. You mean another arrow? Arrow. An arrow. No, he's got a. He's got a. No, he's a shooting quiver. bows. <laughs> no. bows at you. Oh, this bows. goblin is next level business. That, that's like fucking enter the gungeon bullshit. It's the gun that shoots guns. Uh, the goblo once again still mad at Taurus because he shouldn't has no business being that fat. Is going to swing <laughs> and wow. You're on, on one occasion he's right, but fuck you anyway. That's an eight plus four that doesn't hit, and then he's gonna go oh, plus Bane too. Uh, and then he's gonna go for another swing. That is a fifteen plus four plus Bane, which removes the four. So that is a okay. So that misses, I think. Wait, oh shoot, I missed the dice. Okay, that misses. I think I did. Did I say fifteen? Yeah. Yes. Plus four. Minus, okay. 15, mi 15 plus 4 minus 4. So that's just 15. So yeah. That, that hits, actually. Mm. Oh, buddy. Okay. I knocked my, no, I knocked my dice over, so I didn't see what it was. Ah, oh, that's a full oh, buddy. Tarisk, once again, he swings and he slices the front leg of Tarisk. And Tarisk staggers. He's looking pretty rough. Okay. It is now your turn. None of my attacks are working, so it's like, uh, I want to, I want to do the stupid thing and just go up to this man and fucking strangle him. Okay. Do but it. Height. Do it. Uh, but again, my strength is bullshit, so it's. Yeah, like, but it'd be funny. Uh, do it. Yeah, it'd be funny. <laughs> uh, fucking goddamn it! You also have the the ceremonial dagger as well. Into... Yeah, well, I also have my other dagger as well. Fuck it. 
All right. Is, is there is is there a bonus? I'm sorry. Is there a bonus for four people flanking him from all sides? Uh, you know what? I might say there is because Jeez, that's pretty nuts. Rules bonus. Um, yeah, I will... no, just fucking run up. I'll make grab it plus this, four. Grab this man by the throat and start fucking pressing down. All right. Gra grab a knife and stab in him. Isn't a dagger also like a dexterity Finesse. weapon as yeah, well? Yeah, it's a finesse yeah. weapon. So hopefully it actually applies your... Oh my fucking oh god! Oh my god. Natural one. Um, I'm gonna roll severity. I choked myself. <laughs> you stab yourself, you rolled the knife the wrong way. Uh, okay, it's low severity. You run up to stab the goblin, the goblin like tucks out of the way, like pushes his stomach forward right into Tarisk. You run past him, and Halfdan like also dodges out of the way and grabs you by the, like, the, your back, lifts you up, you're still mid-running, turns you around and goes, you'll get them this time. <laughs> you want to do anything else for your turn? What else can I fucking do? Uh, you could move Hunter's Mark, but if you want to keep it on him, that's fine. Keep it on him, I guess. Okay. Tarisk is going to go for another attack. Ooh, that hits, I think. Plus... Yeah, that hits. Come on, buddy. Okay. You watch as Tarisk leaps on top of the goblin boss and begins just to tear the armor off like a can and then just bites into the front neck of the goblin, just tearing out pieces of flesh and blood. It's really horrible. And Hatton goes, oh, okay, <laughs> that's enough for me. Oh, go. wow. Just... Yeah, Taurus just, like, killed the hell out of him. Was this the guy who had the scimitar? Uh, this was the boss. They they all have scimitars. The boss. The boss. Uh, Borky, it is now your do, turn. What to do in this there's, situation? There's wait, wait. There's one dude. There's the sniper. Where's the other one? Dead. They're all dead. Oh, because there's still two. There, there's the snipers two. left. Yeah, I haven't deleted them. Once I get to their turn, I'll delete them from the oh, Okay. Order. I was I was yeah. confused momentarily. Borky, uh. Brushes himself off and runs forward. Borky pulls out one of his uh, one of his trusty javelins, and hucks it at that okay. uh that goblin who's been sniping everybody. Eighteen. Right. That hits. And seven piercing damage. Plus two. That's nine. Yeah. You throw the javelin. It goes right through his core. He staggers back and falls off the side and crashes on the ground. And Gryphos, you see a satisfying thud as he flumps over to the side. Poor Gryphos look, looks very, very sad with with quiver beak lip. I wanted to get that kill. <laughs> kill steel. Sorry, Gryphos! All right. You guys scan the area. Healing word on, uh, not healing word, um, healing touch on uh, Tarisk. You touch him, roll to heal? Yep. Cure wounds, actually, I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, seven. Nice. You touch him, he heals up, his wounds seal up. He's got a little bit of a scar on his face, but he looks to you and, like, sits down and, and wags his tail, like, look at what I did, as, like, the, the, the still twitching, oh. quivering corpse of the goblin boss is, like, behind him. Pat Tarsk on the head, and then look down at the boss. Kneel down and slice his throat. All right, it's there's not a lot of it left, but you managed to cleave his head off. All righty. Hooray! You killed the goblins. I'm rolling a survival check because I want a fucking trophy out of this asshole. While he's doing that, I'm going. I'm going to like. I'm going to like push down on Tarsk's paw so his mouth opens up like a trash can. <laughs> sure. And, and I'm gonna pour a healing. Uh, I'm gonna go pour one of Willow's healing potions down his throat. All right, roll a one d four plus four. <laughs> the description. The description. <laughs> co co coming, coming to designed by humans near you. A Taurus <laughs> Pez dispenser. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Six, yeah. not bad. Okay. Yep. He, he looks good now. He's 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 looking a lot more happy at this point. 
He like licks his lips a bit. I'm actually going to drop this guy's get torch him and bring him back to the rest of the party. Roll Borky 17. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't touch Borky me, don't touch me, don't touch me. Lightning spear. I, 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 okay. I, I, I don't touch him, I just gesture. <laughs> He walks out and he lifts up his arms. He goes, half done! And half done goes, oh, don't! And they both run up and give this the manliest hug. Like, they, they start joking and laughing. Um, your comprehend languages, I think, is done at this point. Yeah, it's, it's very it's done, yeah. You get the sense that he's like, you almost died! And he's just like, I almost died! And then immediately he starts looking for a spear. Like, he's like, where's my spear? <laughs> Like a dog on like all fours, like looking for a spear. Uh, do you guys oh, loot? Yes. I assume you loot. Yeah, loot. And I oh, yeah. rolled a seven. I rolled a seventeen on my survival check on asshole. Uh, so I was like on Gobbo. Okay, you find uh, task. You get uh, some of his nails, like fingers. Do I get his whole finger? Yeah, you get like all good. five of on very, one side. Very, very, very good. Uh, as for the rest of you, as you search the goblins, you find 30 gold pieces. Woo! You find two garnets. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. You find a bloodstone. Sick! What is On... it? Hmm? Uh, is a bloodstone just a jewel, or does it have it's some just, weird It's property? a gemstone. It's, uh -huh. it's a very nice red gemstone. Getting uh, paid. Getting paid. That's what it amounts to. Greckles, you find on the archer uh, a golden necklace. Ooh. And as you're scouring through uh, Panic, you find a Peridot on the Goblin Boss. There's also their weapons. There's seven scimitars, one javelin, which the Goblin Boss threw, uh, and then two oh, short bows. Uh, okay. Now those garnets and that bloodstone, uh, how are we dipping that up? We can do that we, afterwards. Yeah, I was about no, say, we, just, we, just, we just pawn them and just put, put it in the bag. Yeah, put it in the bag, pawn okay, it for so gold later. Um, then let's, uh, you want me to write that down the list of that then? You put it in my bag? All right, yeah, yeah. Garnet. Put it put in the bag. bag. Uh, two garnet, uh, one bloodstone. Yep. Okay. Yep. A golden necklace. A golden necklace. I'm actually, with that in hand, I'm actually going to go take that to panic to see if there's anything identifiable on it. Also, cast identify. Uh, yeah, I'm ritual casting identify. Uh, Not magical. Uh, Peridot. Yeah. And those were all that was those were all the shinies, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then you have their weapons oh, if you want to take them. Sure. Yeah. Well, a javelin and two short bows. Yeah. We could sell them. And well, I mean, we could also sure. give it to everyone in the Sweet Dragon as arsenal. And two, if it's two, worth having for us, arsenal. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Two short bows. Uh, Tolch and, and Half Dan are like talking and joking, and, and Tolch is like, ha ah, I almost died. Uh, but Half Dan's like making light of it, like, you're okay, like, you're fine. Uh, and you see him like point back towards where you guys came from, and Tolch shakes his hand, is like, no, no, no. And then he grabs his, his spear, he kisses the spear, like, uh, we're real fat. and then walks can, towards. Can, Bork, the house. can Borky like be mm -hmm. like, hey? Borky pulls out his light uh, to, to uh, the, the spear lover. Borky p pulls out his lightning spear, and Borky kisses it too. You feel like a static, like little static shock. Like, oh like, <laughs> close. Borky's first, like he. Just... Tolch, Tolch looks at you and just nods, like yeah. We get, we, we get it. Nice. We get, he gets it. I get it. Afton, Bulldog, Oltino, like he's just like you're hanging with a cool crowd. He leaves into the woods, and Half Dan walks up and goes. Dolch says he is fine walking home by self. Oh. Well. Don't get, don't get caught by okay. goblins. Hmm. <laughs> he, he, like, kicks over the goblin boss. This is not new occurrence. It seems that we are not only ones who live here. Of course, we do not like goblins. They destroy the nature, and he looks to the trees that have been probably chopped down and burned. There is no respect here. Do you think there are more? Oh, of course there will be more. We are mm. not only one who live in Alavast. If goblins come here, it means goblins were tossed out of somewhere else. I am told that to the north, then he starts to walk, like he's actually like, like he's, he's yeah, continuing yeah. on. I am told to the far north there is orc tribe. 
that has own land as well. You're an Alevast? Hmm. Huh. What's the tribe called? I believe, uh, well, Jonathan talked about it once. We had the fellow come here, uh, anthropologist or something. He asked for a guide, and we were too busy at time. We were trying to hunt for winter. Uh, he says it is called Iron Claw mm. Clan. They too worship bear, so I like them. Okay, I'm gonna write that down. Iron Claw Clan. Cool. Wasn't that one of our jobs that we could have? That was took? one of the jobs. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But they do not bother us, so we do not bother them. Plus, they are too far away. But uh, you know, sometimes we get some of their bad uh, neighbors. As one would say. Will there be repercussions for this? For the town? For them? No. For us? No more goblins. No problem to be had. How is everyone doing? No one is hurt? Porky looks down and sees the, the arrow still in his chest. Oh, gee, that happened. Pops it out and throws it. Yeah, pop that, pop that shit out of my shoulder as well. Yeah, they're little arrows, but boy, do they hurt. Ah, this is good. Do you feel like you can still take on man trial? Tash takes a fucking... Uh, Tash just looks at him and just nods and keeps walking forward. You seem far on, my friend. Not one of my best hunts. And it's always okay. goblins, too. Bad luck. My friend, and he grabs your shoulder, which is basically almost half your body. <laughs> Arrow shot hole. Thank oh, oh, you. Oh, sorry. Half done is sorry. Half done does not mean for more pain. I apologize. Tash, Tash just like Tash just like makes a clenched fist, but then taps his shoulder to cure himself. Okay. Roll okay. cure wounds. Yeah, yeah. Cure wounds. Five. So okay. I'm I'm almost back up to full. Like, okay, now you can do that. She very like gingerly touches your shoulder, which she also engulfs the almost a top hard body. Half done. Have good advice for you. Not all hunts ended success. This is true. But you did shoot. Did not hit, but did shoot. That did is victory. Tass smirks. Did you not see the first hit? Hmm. Looks points over to the gob to the goblin dog. That was a good shot, exactly. You must focus on good skill, not bad skill. You're making yourself sad. Makes me sad as well. You're being too hard on himself. The crater with the dot with the dog's head outside of it. Yeah. Oh yeah. By the way, hold the fuck up. Before we move forward, Tas goes back over to the dogs. That's some good hunting. Carve the fuck out of that. Shit. Okay, one of them is Ash, so that one's out. But the other yeah, one, no, no, the one that the one that's still there. Okay. Roll, roll. Twenty-three. All right, you pop out the two main canines. Yeah. Oh yes. This is the Willow pelt God, is. Here. The pelt is disgusting. It's not worth anything. It's too greasy for use. And even half Dan is like, oh, do not pick pelt. It's gross. Oh, no, dude. This is this is for our wizard friend back home. Oh, you have the wizard. That's good. All right. So we... he doesn't know what a wizard is, does he? <laughs> Probably not. What's a have... wizard? Yeah, half Dan wonders. And he turns to you, Panic. What is this wizard? Uh, a wizard is... is... Like a like a druid, but uh, instead of natural magic, they used hmm, arcane, arcane magic. Oh, I, I see. There are, well, I guess, fey magic is different, but there are uh, uh, creatures as well. We've seen some travel to the northern lands, and they have these, but we we ask that they don't do magic. You know, us. though, you uh, have to end. You know those that study the way of the hunt, and they they have a lot of prowess with that. Think of someone who can do that, but by reading books, they learn uh, otherworldly crafts. Books? Oof. I guess this makes sense. There is magic in books. Well, I hope they like teeth and perhaps like you. And he gives you like a like a shoulder like nudge, like, hey. <laughs> All right, that's fair. Let's keep moving forward. After your manhunt, you will have so many little kobold girls coming up and being like, Oh, Task, you're so beautiful. I've he already does. <laughs> he already time, does. Actually, but not for time when that hasn't <laughs> happened. Ah, oh, well, he has beautiful red color. Never seen before. Mm. It's gorgeous. Very pretty. My, is my skill color really that rare? Well, here, yeah. You're... 
Like you don't Tass know. Looks, you don't Tass know where other red scales are. If there are any. Yeah. Well, Tass looks down at himself. He's just like, shit. Am I that much of a commodity? Where I come from, the only kobolds we know are the white ones. They have little short ears and little adorable little noses. Do you that know? Okay? Do you know of one that may have like a, a, an ally of ours? We've found to the south of here who are fighting off the frost giants believes that she uh she appeared down by where the frost giants are but has no recollection of how she got there do you know of any way this could be done uh, hmm halfdan is not one who is of a wizard or a druid so i don't know hmm something to consider coming here next time let's go find this bear yes i think that shh, he gets right down low do we all follow suit Tell, yeah. tell, tell the blue bird to stop moving wherever he has gone. You can't say that out loud, but hopefully we'll. we'll can be... I? Can I? Can, can I not see them? Yeah, you see Borky, them. Like you're right above them. Borky like he doesn't see you though. Head and tries to psychically connect with uh, Greckles. Greckles, stop moving, <laughs> otherwise, oh, oh, otherwise <laughs> the, ha the half bear dude will be mad at you. Please, Greckles. Also. I'm sorry for trying to rip out your nipple. You're talking to a chipmunk, Borky. Yeah, there's a chipmunk on your shoulder. Tell this to him. <laughs> I just again, if I had if, if I had a temple and a nose, <laughs> Panic's gonna. Have, rather, pan I, nose, I would just pinch it. Panic's gonna slow look to task and just be like, "What?" <laughs> All right, and as you guys hide, you guys see this. Two uh, here, here comes the dire bear. It's like a bear. <laughs> Do you think I'm that evil? Yes. Yeah. What? No, she's not that evil, guys. Come on. <laughs> well, I'm keeping that in mind no, for the next encounter. No. I can show you how Mont evil I could Mont be. Monty, Monty will remember Guys, you keep bringing me down with you. <laughs> the bear. <laughs> The bear is Tiango. Roll for it's, initiative. It's Tiango. It's no. It's Tiango and a bear. Kigurumi. <laughs> no. Oh my god. <laughs> bear Tiango and a fucking bear onesie. <laughs> oh, terrible. Can, can, can I can I be in Wee Tree over here? Sure. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. I'll put you over there. I can't stop laughing. <laughs> God damn it. This is just a stupid image. Oh, I'm sorry. We have to have that I mean, stupid as in silly. Like, oh, man. All right. Um, Tan peers over the rock, and he, he kind of, like, pats you on the side, like, eagerly, like, like, come on, come on, look, 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 look. Yidi has chosen you strong bear to fight for a man trial. It is okay to be nervous, my friend. Well, especially since they want me to go up to this thing and knife it. Well, of course, there's no Borky other way to do that. Real quick, um, Mr. Half Bear, Mr. Ha Mr. Halfman. I am. Oh, I thought I'm it was Mr. Half Halfman. My bad, Mr. Half Ma Half Dan. Is uh, is potions illegal for this trial? What are the rules? Well, the rules are that he must fight bear by self, but no rules say that he cannot be healed. All right, Borky. Uh, Borky takes out his potion of uh, minor healing, minor wounds, and gives it to Task. You, I. All right, I'll take it, but I'm gonna pocket it because I. You've got a lot of those. I, I, I only, I'm only down by one HP. Yeah, you don't have a lot of HP though, pointless. so you might need to use your alt action to constantly like slam that shit. You might, you might need, potentially, you might. You actually, you actually just brought me up. To five cure minor wound potions. I know, but you might you might need to bloodborne this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, that's true. I mean, <laughs> that's fair. That's a good way to put it. Wait. All right. So half down. Daddy, don't you have Is another there... potion too? Uh, uh, I have something better. Uh, a panic's going to flip some switches on his uh, on his guitar and just make it all muted and stuff like that. He's gonna he's gonna whisper sing. You're the only cobalt in my life. Have this inspiration. You've made it to our life. <laughs> You're the inspiration. 
You are feeling inspired. <laughs> All right. Uh, half tank, can I at least shoot it to get its attention? No. You must fight bear with strength of your own. And he, he points to the dagger. <sighs> All right, hold on a minute. I'm going to go on YouTube real quick and grab a soundtrack from myself. <laughs> you, could, you could sneak up on it. I hope it's, this I is hope true. it's true. You can. Nature. No, it's not <laughs> rules of nature, but I get... It's the, it's the fucking... Torah is it bears, to, bears, 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 bears? I, if, if I wanted to take this jokingly, it would be. It's the fucking Torah 2 uh, River of Souls metal mix. Oh, shit. If you want to roll a stealth check, I will I'll let you attempt to sneak I up on the bear. Sure, let's, oh, let's go with that. Okay. Um, I'm going to ready an action to double dart the bear if it really does come down to it. All right, all right. I was going to say, uh. <laughs> all right, roll a stealth check there, Task. All right, where am I? Core and nice. stealth 24. 24, roll for the bear. That is a 15 plus... That's a 15 plus 3, so he does not see you. The bear is drinking water. I will say for the sake of just sneaking up on it, you do sneak up on it with the dagger. Because you are kind of small. You are hard to see. Alright, well, let's fucking go! You get first attack. Go for it. Dab in the butt! 19 to hit! That hits! That hits! <laughs> Two points of damage. You stab the bear in the butt, and it lets out this like, Rrr! like noise as it almost stumbles into the water. I need to roll initiative. Oh fuck! I had my, what? I had my music, 20? I had my music turned down really low, and then the, I heard the trumpet come on. So I thought for half a second that it was playing Benny Hill theme. All right. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, task. You got the, you got the surprise, and you also now have the first initiative. You have dagger in hand, and the bear turns and snarls at you. It's jowls, like, yeah, rumbling. It turns and looks at me. What are you? Dagger in the face. 13. 13? That hits. <laughs> what? Fuck. One HP. <laughs> you slash its nose, and the bear goes, <laughs> like, snuffles. At... Now it's going to attack you. The bear goes... Oh, boy, it's got two attacks. Interesting. Okay. It is a bear. It is going to bite you first. That is a natural one. Uh, oh, yeah! <laughs> I'll give it disadvantage on its next attack. Oh, boy. Here I go stabbing again. And it's a seven plus three. So that's a ten. I'm assuming that misses you. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, a ten misses you, I'm, I can only assume. Yeah, that misses. The bear... Go... Yeah. I I don't know if this is added onto here, but I also I I haven't used a fucking melee weapon. Is it, is it, is it, shit, don't I add dex? To uh, damage? to damage? Uh, no, no. You, you don't add dex to damage. Sadly, okay. No. Oh no, yeah. that's fair. I was you're just also, like, wait a minute. You're also cutting in and out really bad. Yeah, so jump in real quick. All right, hold on. Here we go. Uh, the bear goes to bite you, snaps and misses, and hits the ground. It snuffles back and tries to swipe at you with its claw, but you jump to the side. It is now your turn. As he's fighting, half Dan turns to, uh, turns to you, Pan, and goes, He seems so nervous. Look at him. He is natural. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm fighting a fucking bear! Uh, 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 <laughs> he sure is. <laughs> Go, Tash. Man who is with goat, you must be so proud. Uh, roll to hit. Yeah, slash at his neck. Roll to hit. Uh, da, 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 dagger eleven. Uh, that just hits. Wow. Please hit. Okay, three points of damage. Three, not bad. You slash its neck. You get some fur and maybe a little bit of like the skin. And the bear like is very angry now. He's going to attack you again for a bite. Ooh, that's probably gonna hit. That is a 17 plus 3. That's a 20 to hit you. That hits. Six plus 2. So that's 6 points of piercing damage Ow. as the bear bites into your shoulder blade and then it rears up with its claw. Oh, that's an 18. Uh, plus 3. That's 21. Uh, that hits as well. Where's my d4? I had that out for Bane. Okay, that's a 2. Can he not? Can can Tass not attack twice since he's not? Oh, if he doesn't move, 
He needs a second dagger. Oh, I do have a second dagger. Yeah, but this is, you need the ceremony dagger. This is your yeah, man yeah. trial. Gotcha. Uh, shoot, I just lost count of my, it was a, shoot, what was my, uh, I only have one d4. I forgot yeah, what the roll was, was a, now. It was 21 Crap. initially. No, I hit him. Yeah, I was rolling the damage and I completely, I got sidetracked. Uh, I'll just reroll it. Okay, that's a one. And that's a two. Uh, plus two. So that's five points of slashing damage. Uh, a it's good chunk of my fucking shoulders gone. He slashes your back and you stumble to the ground. It is now your turn. Um, I got a question. Uh, mm -hmm. can, can I move during all of this? Yeah. Okay. Um, do you want to move now? Yeah, I'd like to go ahead and move, actually. Okay. You got 30 feet on you. I'm going to try to see if my spells can reach him. Uh, I'm trying to just see whether it can... Okay, yeah. Um... Okay, yeah, I'm going to slowly start making my way... Um... Up, up like this side path here. So, right in the middle of this tree here. Nice. You walk, and Hefton goes, "What are you going?" Oh well. And turns back and watches. Task. It is now your turn. You are feeling the rush of blood in your ears. Boy, howdy. Uh, tell me, how uh, how stable is this thing's uh, feet on the edge of the water? Ah, uh, it's shaking a bit at the moment. Is is one of his hind legs shaking? Uh, no, front paw is kind of like keeping him stationary out of the water, but the ground around it is kind of pushing into the pool. All right. Uh... All right, well, I guess I'll just fucking hit him then. Hit. Okay. 12. That hits. What? Zero. That, what? what? Minus one. Uh, oh. For strength. Oh, because it's strength, yeah. Wait, you, you, wait, finesse weapon. That's to attack, not to hit. Oh, right. right. Never mind. Yeah. Or no, excuse me. That's 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 attack, not damage. You swing and you trim some of its hairs on its beard. <laughs> Bears don't have You know what I mean. Mm. Uh, if you guys want to move this round, you can. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to move... Da, 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 and I think I'll be barely in range for this. <laughs> barely yeah. in range? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Healing word. <laughs> All right. Okay. I like that nervousness. Seven. Yeah. All right. Task you get healed for seven hit points. Nice. And that ba ba da ba ba was what I was, the was, was the word I was using with. Shibbity bobbity boo. All right. Anybody else moving? No, no. Still good. All right. There goes for its first attack. That is a three. Pl that's not going to hit. And then goes for its claw attack. That is a five. That's not going to hit. The bear once again snaps, you jump, you run down the length of its back and land. It turns around and swings with a claw and you just duck underneath it matrix style. It is now your turn. Bells. Let me look at Hunter's Mark again real quick. Okay. It's any weapon. Yep. Well, what the fuck am I doing? I was wondering about that. I didn't want to say anything in case you were out <laughs> of spell slots. Mark. All right, bonus action, Hunter's Mark. Hunter's Mark and, and fucking slice where the mark is. <laughs> you see a mark right in its eye. Ooh. Oh. Well, you know, I can just go fuck myself. Uh, really. oh. Wait, wait. Um, does, uh, no, inspira does inspiration let you re-roll? No. Yep, this is how I die. You, you die. swing. Not with a bang, but with a bear. <laughs> with a bang, but with a bear. You swing wide, and you turn, and you fall into the water. You are now prone. Ooh, there you go. The bear now goes for intact. Whoa! Okay, that dice is gone. Also, another quick question. Does Colossus Slayer apply to 
by just any attack, or does it have to be ranged only? I think it's ranged, but you know what? Let me double check, because I could be completely wrong. That's Hunter's Mark. Multi-attack. Where's Colossus Slayer? Oh, here it is. Uh, oh, no! Any attack! Wow, so I... You've been missing <laughs> out on damage this whole time. Yeah. Let's see. Let me go back and find the ones. That's a hit. That's a hit. One, two, three, four. Okay, roll four. Uh, What is it? A D8? Or no, uh, D6. roll three. Three D6, because your first hit didn't... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, no. Yeah, three. Twelve. Twelve? Okay, not bad. So that brings it up to that. Not bad, not bad. Alrighty. Uh, the bear is going to attack you, though. That is an eight plus three, so that's, a tw that's an eleven. That will not hit. Will not hit you. And then, oh god, another four. Okay, that misses as well. It is now your turn. Uh, you are prone. It takes half your movement to get out of prone. Well, I'll get out of prone. Can I still hit where I'm standing? Yeah, you're in like water that's probably up to your waist. It's difficult terrain, but you can still attack. Except for the bear has the high ground. Hmm. So, there is that. Well, at least I'll hit for now, anyway. That hits. What I get? I don't even look. I, 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 I've just been assuming that I'm just taking these hits no matter what the fuck what. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Uh, 2 plus 1d6. Oh, and an 8 because it's fucking... Yeah. Colossus Slayer. Yeah. <laughs> one! <laughs> one! Hooray! Oh my fucking and a god. And 2. 5. Uh, 5? Okay. You guys watch as the bear leaps on top of Task, and they both disappear in the water. You see the thrashing of waves, and then a stillness. As the bear bobs in the pond, Halfdan leaps over the rock and starts like like throwing his finger, like go 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 go. As you do not see Task, Orky at the jumps moment. in the water. Yeah, I'm gonna jump in that water. Okay, you guys all jump into the water. Try to jump me. in the water. I'm getting ready to pull him out. I'm not gonna get my clothes wet. Uh, you guys grab the bear. Yeah. 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 All right, you guys pull the bear off, and emerging from under the water, gasping for air, is Task. You did it. There's so much blood in the pond, it's actually kind of disgusting. Nice, so you can't even tell that he's covered in blood, except for the fact that the inside of his ears are covered in red. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. He needs to come out of the river like Apocalypse now. To oh, <laughs> fuck yeah, that's exactly what I was gonna do! That was my bit! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Took his bit! Half Dan leans, like, crouches at the edge of the water and goes, Ty, you did it! This was good! Oh, Tarask of the Red Scale, you are now man! Well, sort of. We we had to go through last <laughs> ceremony. You see Tass just like, just slowly turns his head to him, in it just encased in blood, like arms out. Like, you know how like when someone looks at themselves like with their arms out wide to like look at all the water that's dripping off them? Yeah. Tass looks up at him like that, Opens his maw and licks the blood off his arm and nods. Oh, that is rather creepy, but that is okay. Enthusiasm comes in different forms. Come here, my friend, and he Borky's offers his hand to you. Fuck, he's take that shit. He lifts, he just lifts you right out of the Borky's water. He's holding, no like, he's like pushing, swim pushing the bear up to the shore. Yeah, you guys managed to drag the bear out. It, it's a hefty bear, it's a smaller bear. Um, Half Dan looks it over and even kneels to one side and places his hand on the forehead of the bear and you hear him mutter something under his breath, like a prayer of some kind. And then he goes and he grabs the bear on like by two legs on one side, two legs by the other, and just whoop, poof, puts it on his shoulders. Oh, you hunt a good one, my friend. This will be plenty of fat. This is good. All right, let's go home. And then there's a warm hearth waiting for us. 
Someone who is not carrying bear could lead the way, please. It is going to be getting dark I, soon. I guess that'll be me. Okay. And you guys begin to walk, and Back. we will end the session there yeah. for tonight. Back to the trees like Hooray! <laughs> Back to the trees. Oh, oh, come on. Of all things that happen. Yeah, that's, that's me right now. <laughs> Had to get one more in. <laughs> yeah, apparently. I, it has I not stopped. been a good day for me uh, keeping coordinated. What the fuck uh, were these rolls? By the way. This is, episode, is this episode 29? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to stop recording. I think this yeah, is... It's episode 29. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 29, 29. Uh, yeah, uh, appar apparently oh. uh, Dex works different in 5e, according uh, like a lot of people were in the middle. I wasn't going to mention in the middle of what you were doing. But yeah, a lot of people were uh, whoo, whoo. Quite, quite, quite adamant eh, about how the way whatever. the rules are. I don't know what the case is on that. What, dude, whatever. It's I was like, oh, wow, this kind of yeah. sucks. It's a challenge. Yeah. Who the fuck? Yeah, cares? I think honestly it makes sense because it's a weapon you're not used to, too. Yeah, that would be my right. argument. Because I wasn't sure, and I didn't want to have to look that up, because I would have been, like, I could have done it. But, I mean, it made sense, more sense for you to not be as strong with that, considering you only ever used a bow or your spear. Well, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, Jack Jumbo with 20,000 bits. Hello, my lovely storytellers. This time, I'm giving double because I missed last stream. All my OC's love and story for the unexpectable. Jack Jumbo, thank you so much, dude. Oh my God, that is insane. It's a big old cake for the God, boy. I have post-it notes all you over do. me right now. Oh man. Yeah, like not like post-it notes, but like the tabs. There's everywhere for this this one. This one was a lot of tabs. So wait, it's uh, Unexpectables. Which one? Uh, twenty nine. <laughs> yeah. So, but that is, that was a fun session. But this was a task heavy session. This was a. Uh... Task you gotta get your task, beer meat task. somehow. Honestly, this was task yeah, and panic pretty, heavy. Pretty good. Mm -hmm. To be fair. Oh, listen, ta task is not going to like be like. There's no joy in this until he gets a bite of that meat. That's where it is. It's like I did the hunt. I'm going through the motions. I did this man trial. Whatever the fucking humans want me to do, let me have the meat. <laughs> Flesh tastes better when you kill it yourself. Yep, yep. That's exactly where it was gonna go. It's just like takes a bite out of the meat. And just like have the biggest like heavy metal warlord sitting at a table like slouch over. I deserve this. <laughs> so, apparently, session fifty two would be the one year anniversary of the show, according to, to Probate. Yeah. Oh shit! Yeah, I, Dang. I can't oh, believe snap. I can't believe Task went villain and killed Borky. It was a fucking crazy arc. <laughs> oh. Oh my. That was pretty good. This has been. I like. I like what we're doing right now. This, this is, is kind this of is a great good. cooling off for us. I think, and we're. I think we're really having, kind of having our own little things where we uh, each. I don't know. Kind of grow, our characters grow in their own way. Like last episode was a lot about panic. Mm. This one was a lot about task, and I think that's really fucking neat. No, it's a lot of fun. Also, but yeah. yeah, guys, all the bits, all the subs you guys were giving us. My goodness, uh, I'm gonna go to Streamlabs real fast and pull up a couple. Um, real fast here, uh, but god damn, I want to personally thank uh, Goomba and our good bud uh, Senile for being here, even though they're sick. Trucking, yeah, yeah. good job, yeah. guys. For the 500 bits, uh, Emon. I tried not to, to pick on you too much, Kaijin, because I knew that you weren't so Eamon Tizzle. talkative. So, Eamon Tizzle, that was okay. thank you for the 5,000 bits. Finesse, it's a finesse weapon. You add dex to finesse weapon damage unless DM decides otherwise, of course. Alright. I'm gonna say that's, yeah, it's gonna be my call to say otherwise for go. this one. But now that you've had your feeling of a dagger, it would make sense now and if you course, actually have that. Jack Jumbo mm -hmm. for the 20,000 bits. Thank you so much, dude. Dubio O. Dubio, Enter the Gungeon is one of my favorite fucking games. You get bits for that, Zito. Yeah, well, have fun with those bits, Taco. I give you, I, I, I send you money. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know, <laughs> I know, but it's just like ah, you're you're welcome, Taka, who has his and hands Rosso in the And Roso, oh six, thank you so much. Heading off to work, take care, everyone. Thank you so much, Roso. That's all I have updated, and I, I apologize because uh, this is uh, <laughs> uh, this. Ooh, my goodness, but like your kindness is. Oh, Zenicom, th thank you so much for the five hundred bits too. But Nadine, this session was a lot of fun. I, I can I ask you a question? 
Go fast. How long were you planning mm -hmm. that the 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 the, the Bjornsson family clan? Uh, I actually can't remember. Can, it was a while ago. But I can uh, Olga be be Borky's teacher. Oh my god, oh, she doesn't like you guys. Why? <laughs> That's fine. I don't like them either. Olga just wants to retire <laughs> from she being just, an octopus. She just, she just, <laughs> she just wants to be an octopus on a low-hanging swing, looking at the sunset. Don't we all? Yeah. Like, uh, except for the octopus part. I don't, I don't want to be that. But you went to Japan. <laughs> I don't, I don't get it. Why wouldn't? Wow, racist. Wow, <laughs> you of all people. All right. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> wow. 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 <laughs> Thank you again wow. for, for D Despite all the fucking shit low rolls, this was really yeah, fucking no, that, rad. The combat Thank was you. a lot of fun too. Did I You took yeah, my no, kill Taka. To get to it. I was just the he's like Ugh, casually throwing it. Mark turns around. I hope that hits. Ah! Uh, I just can't feeling. fucking win against. I I cannot win against goblins. Every goblins goblin, are like your your. Every your goblin fame. match, I fuck up and roll crit failures. Yeah, I'm actually, when you mentioned that, I remembered the first goblin encounter. I was like, oh yeah. Let's hope you get through your heavy depression. And Overlord Coronat, absolutely love this campaign. Can't wait for everything to come. Fifteen hundred bits. Thank you so much. And Austin's five oh. hundred bits. But uh, guy, what's up? Go ahead. I, I had a lot of fun with this one. I feel like I kind of dropped the ball on some things, but I had a ton of fun. Again, we as we always say, don't beat yourself up. Yeah, the only thing you dropped oh, yourself, was actually. your dice. Uh, <laughs> uh, I didn't fall on the ground. I just stumbled. I did not fall I, on the ground. I, 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 it, sounded, it sounded like, bad. I, I honestly, it sounded like you <laughs> tripped and you smashed your face against the fucking floor. That's what it sounded like. That's oh, what it I, sounded I, like. I, I, Nadine, I got up I from my chair. I pushed myself back and I went... <laughs> Are you are you okay? I, I was genuinely panicked for a second. I, I was I was laughing, but I was very concerned because you weren't answering for a minute after the after the thud. I didn't have my headphones on. I heard your voices on like the headphones. I'm like, oh, they're probably worried. I'm like, yeah, it's fine. Let's <laughs> go plug my heater. I I, I want to stress something really quick. Um, all of our characters are very individual. And we all have different paths, and we are all going to react very differently yeah. for different things. So never, and, and I'm, I'm going to address chat here, never go into these expecting us to act a very specific way. Because these are the characters mm. that we have planned out. And sometimes they'll do things that you don't like, but it's all for the development of the characters. That's what's really important when it comes to D&D, is the ability for the player to control what their character is doing and having reasons for why they do it you're an actor yeah, in yeah characters sense. are dynamic mm -hmm. and yeah. that's so just bear that in mind that's all i ask with you guys every yeah. week it's the one thing every week i genuinely look genuinely look forward to that's that's why fucking task was like the oh. fuck is the ocean you seeing this shit look at this thing it has a fucking it's bug so... inside of it that was really that was really great i'm glad that it's happened so... that was fun um, by the way, uh, Jack got back to me with statistics. It took me three weeks. It was a three, oh, three weeks ago I worked on that. So I started working on it at least. I think I sat yeah. down and made oh, the names fun. with him when I was just like, yeah, oh, that was, they, that was really fun. Definitely, it's definitely worth it because I, I think they're freaking hilarious. And when you said, yeah, we're going to be at the festival, I'm like, oh boy, <laughs> I can't wait for Gammy to smack panic. <laughs> no cheating. <laughs> <laughs> hey, now it was cheating. never explicitly stated in the contract that we signed that I couldn't cheat. Watch that he watch fucking uh he cheats just oh, as bad. No. I'm actually kind I'm, of sad. I'm, I'm, I'm kind, kind of sad the uh, I'm sorry. I'm kind of sad that the potion probably won't be done by the time because that's kind of the whole point well, of the, making it. The sleepy potion? Yes. The, I think, I think oh. the, the, the one funny thing is, I think after Panic wins the, the competition or whatever, if he wins, he's like, haha, I've. Oh, it just shows festival drug testing tent. Uh oh. <laughs> 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 drug test. You see, they have a very up and up here thing at the Olympics. Uh, Alrighty, guys, I think we're going to shut down then for the night. Alrighty, guys. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it sounds about a right. A real quick shout out. Uh, Monty, where can they find your Twitter and Twitch? 
Uh, Twitter is at Monty Glue, and then my Twitch is uh, twitch.tv slash Monty Glue. And uh, Snake, where can they find you? They can find me on Twitter at Senile Snake, and they can find me on Twitch at Senile Snake with a three instead of an E at the end. Right now, I'm playing a bunch of party games like Jackbox, and I'm starting up a Good, Payday where can 2 they find crew. You, dude? you can find me literally at Gaijin Goomba everywhere has my name i promise i made sure of that um if you missed the first announcement i'm doing a long play of Okami every saturday sunday i want to do another type of long play and then tuesday is kind of a weird grab bag of cultural games that's cool and zito uh you can find me at uh, twitch.tv slash zito and at cc backlash on twitter uh tomorrow i will be starting mm. off the new year uh, with my first stream, which will be an art stream, and then Friday, I'm looking into starting up a uh, run of uh, Never Stop Sneaking. All right, cool. And, you know, as always, I'm here. So, yeah, check it out. All righty, guys. Have yourself a good night. And we'll see you Monday night. for the fan art special. And don't forget to check out the podcast and the merch page, guys. Oh, there, there's some gems for the fan art special this week. I am super <laughs> excited. I'll see you guys Monday at 7 o'clock PST. Night. Night. Take care.